So I'm going to say welcome to Roll Incorporated on the Dice Cult. Uh, we are glad that you are here and playing some D&D with us. I look forward to whatever this session holds. I'm certain nobody will die uh, or something. Uh, I don't know what will happen. I know what happened last week, but I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, but for this instant, I'm going to turn this over to Jackie, who is played by Clara, and she has some things to talk to you about. Wait, what? Strike that. Rewind. Jackie? Jackie. Played- Clara is played by Jackie. <laughs> right. I have become the character. <laughs> I'm a method actor. Uh, yes. Announcements. Hi, Jackie. Uh, soon to be Clara. Uh, welcome back to Roll Inc. Uh, just some up at the top reminders. If you have a Twitch Prime account, you can subscribe for free once a month, and we'd love to have your support. Um, as always, we're looking forward to interacting with you over on Twitter. So come on over at underscore Roll Inc. That's underscore R O L L I N C to ask us questions and come be our friends. We're posting some cool art. Um, we're posting all about uh, wanting to interact with your questions. Um, if you've missed any episodes, go ahead and go over to the Dice Cult YouTube page, and you can watch our episodes from the beginning um, on our Nri playlist. Uh, if you'd like to see our homebrew oh. rules, uh, you can do exclamation point roll ink in the chat box, or to follow us on our socials, it's exclamation point social. So as always, smash that follow button, hit that subscription, and settle in for some D&D. Uh, yeah, if you, uh, speaking of the, the neat, um, art, uh, the playlist, by the way, is Roll Incorporated, but speaking of the neat art, uh, over there, um, some cool art was posted this, uh, today of Clara in her school, uh, her school outfit, and just for, you know, a little bit of extra, we also posted Hurdler in Clara's school outfit. What? So. I haven't seen this. We're- <laughs> How have you not <laughs> seen it? So you have not been at the, the channel on Discord? Do you not uh, think you always are on checking the? <laughs> so right, if you I... are curious as to what, uh, so much. Uh, yeah, if you're curious to what uh, Clara looks like with her school and graphic heard. and heard looks like, I uh, heard oh is not God. as good as putting on those tights. So I don't yeah. think Clara's getting it back on after Herd's put it on. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah. So why are we talking about school girl outfit? It's because last week. Uh, the party, the Tram Fam, decided to break Herd out of jail. Well, half the Tram Fam decided to break Herd out of jail, and half the Tram Fam decided to simply talk him out of jail. So, having made a plan that Magda would go up and make a deal to talk everyone to talk Herd out of jail, they let Magda go up, and she began a conversation with Major Thomas, who, by the way, is Lieutenant Major is his first name. He's Lieutenant Major Thomas. Um, okay. That's- I uh, think my notes are wrong, man. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and check that. <laughs> it's uh, it's uh no, it's his exactly name is Kirk. Major Thomas Brand. Shut yep. Up. I misspoke then because he's actually a lieutenant, but I like the word major, so I think he just called himself Major Thomas Brand. And Thomas is middle name. Um, so Major L- Lieutenant Major Thomas Brand. <laughs> he's actually <a> Lieutenant <laughs> Thomas Brand. So here's the thing. I've never served, unfortunately, uh, but I went back and took a look at the ranks. And I know I could confuse all the ranks and do whatever I want with them because of the fantasy world. But I took a glance at the ranks and went, wait a minute, these aren't right. And so I had to depot somebody. You know, Thomas is no longer a major. He is now a lieutenant uh, serving underneath the major. So uh, after going up and promising uh, Lieutenant uh, Thomas Brand, um, that uh, that uh, Magda would put in a good word for him with Captain Zara Gleason. Uh, they he did some paperwork shuffling and order and a change, and Hurdler was you know to be let free. In the meantime, while that was happening, Olivia got her hands on a key after casting an illegal friends on somebody. Uh, charm yeah. effects are not you're not allowed to just cast charm effects on people. Uh, after casting it on a fellow uh, watcher. She stuck the key into a sandwich, her chipped his tooth, and used the key to get out with his new friend, Og, uh, a tiefling um, sorcerer. Uh, as they escaped, uh, Magda saw them outside, uh, face palmed almost hard enough to <laughs> uh, you know, break her nose. And uh, Olivia, everyone ran away, and... Um, Discussing where to go, Clara revealed that she had a 
a safe house. Uh, and they found out that she also had a boyfriend, and that was the safe house, and the boyfriend had been missing. Um, uh, after investigating the house, they found a secret room, to, a secret uh, mansion, actually, in the house, magnificent mansion. And inside of there was a room where uh, her uh, her boyfriend uh, had been studying uh, and working on something, uh, Kieran Gall. Um, and the session ended with her fixing the problem that he had been working on and a portal opening and standing in front of her was Kieran Gall. And then he disappeared and then he came back and then he disappeared. And that is where we're going to pick up our session. As he pops back, this time as he appears, the circle, uh, the portal uh, around him uh, pulses and changes different colors and he pops back out. Um, we're actually uh, going to take everybody to this map. Um, and as he, as he appears, uh, he's standing there in front of you guys uh, and he says... He, he looks down at his hands, and as he's standing there, there's like ethereal gas just flowing off of him, this mist that's flowing off of him back into the portal uh, that the clock is the you know is in the center of this clock. And the portal is just sitting there, you know, making a, a warble, you know, uh, you know, just a background hum noise as he is sitting there. Uh, and he looks at you, Clara. You guys can arrange yourself in the room wherever you're at. You're at, I just put your tokens, you know, in the room itself. Um, and he looks at you, Clara, uh, and he uh, and he says, well, it looks like it's stabilized for a very short time. Uh, I don't know that this is going to be permanent, however. Uh, uh, how, how long have I been missing? Nearly a year. Oh, my. Uh, well, <coughs> hey, we did it. We time traveled. You got stuck, though. Yes, yes. Small small tweaks and changes are necessary, but don't worry. I wouldn't expect you to understand all of that, but we could fix it. Uh, good job on figuring it out, though. Well done. Thank um, you. Uh, how are we going to fix this? Uh, he looks around, and he goes, Oh, you have a party. Uh, I assume you're not the leader, but uh, we can we can make this work. Um I'm not sure how to fix this, though. Let me think a minute. Uh, uh, let's let's work through the problem. And so he sort of comes up to the edge, and it looks like he can't go past the edge of the teleportation circle. Um, and and he starts to walk around it, looking at it with you. Um, give me an Arcana check. And while they're doing that, uh, he doesn't really acknowledge you guys. He just sees you and then goes, and he's just talking to Clara. Um, what are the rest of you guys doing? Um. Olivia's walked up behind Clara and is kind of sticks an arm out in front of her. Like, I don't think stay back. This is, you don't know if this is actually the person that you last saw. This is weird magic shit. Weird magic shit is kind of my thing. And I'm going to use inspiration for this arcana. Okay. <laughs> Uh, 14? Yeah, okay. I needed that. <laughs> Alright, so uh, as you're walking around the circle, um, looking at how this is, like, moving, uh, also, what is everyone else doing? Magda, Kaden, uh, Herd? Uh, Herd, you do not have your armor, although you probably would have your club. Um, I guess uh, I'm looking around, um, <laughs> there's obviously no bugbear armor laying around here, right? <laughs> no. Uh, no. It's actually uh, back at the jail. I guess uh, I'm I'm gonna look around to see if I see any you know uh, items of interest o sure, outside of a... you know the obvious one in the center of the room. Sure, give me an investigation check, and then Caden and Magda. Caden leads over to Magda and is like, "Did he say? Did he say time travel? Because it sounds like he's just been stuck in an orb for a year." It's true. Yeah. Um... Hmm. Okay. As you guys are just sort of standing there observing, go ahead and give me perception checks. Um, I'll get back to her in your role in a second. Uh, so, uh, Clara, as you sort of walk around before Olivia sort of stops you, um, uh, he's 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 chattering. Um, he's he's like just talking with this uh, 
almost boyish excitement. He's like, so I went back all the way to the time that the wall was built. Apparently I can go in and then it just, I, I can choose when to step out, but I cannot j get back in. You activated it somehow and, and were able to pull me back in. And I thought all would be lost, but I went and talked to uh, Giblet and uh, McIngrosh, uh, the architect of the wall. Uh, he was very distraught to learn that I had come from the future, but he has a man of no vision. He can build a wall, but he can't think past that, apparently. Uh, and he stops as you guys are talking. He goes, uh, what do you think of this right here? And he points down at a piece of the of the circle and things. Um, and it seems that uh, as you guys enchant it. You can see that the lines holding this whole magic together are just rippling and shaking, and there seems to be like this weak link, um, and and that's causing it to not be very stable. Uh, he goes, uh, "What do you think? Azurite powder? Uh, uh, you've heard of it. You know what it is. It, it sure, was I used know what it is. The, yeah, it was used in the wall uh, and is used as a stabilizer for magic. It's a, it's the." It's a, just a stabilizing magic. Uh, it's a gem that is ground down and is used in spells and put inside enchantments. Uh, so if you get some Azerite powder, maybe you can fill the enchantment up with that and that would stabilize everything and the power fluctuations would diminish and then we'd be good. Do you have some here? Of course not. It's extraordinarily expensive. Oh, foolish. Uh, Kaden, as they're talking, you watch as the... the, or, the, the um, Portal itself pulses. It's been moving and wobbling, but it pulses in that same array of colors. And very briefly, you see, you blink, and you may have seen it, and you may not have, but you swear you saw a giant blue spider with white legs, and it it was right there. And then it was, and then you look, and it's not there anymore. There's, there's, I, yeah. I looked at Meg, and I'm saying. Did you see that? Danger. And I'm going to yell out to everyone, what's that behind you? Um, and try to... Like, yeah, they turn around. Olivia, you don't see anything. Clara, he doesn't see anything. Heard as you're investigating, there. you find some some interesting books. You find an anti-venom. Um, it looks like you find a table of, of things that you need in case your spells go bad kind of things. A healing potion, anti-venom, things like that. So you can, you can collect those if you want. One regular healing potion and anti-venom. Uh, I mean, Excellent. Um, so, yeah. yeah, Olivia pulls her sword. Yeah, and uh, I just want to... Suspicious. Can I insight check this guy? Make sure he's... Sure. Uh, what, are you trying to, what are you trying to get an insight I'm on? I'm trying to see if he's some demon from another realm or something. It's like, is a portal? Right. I don't... I just, 23 he, is going to be your DC to figure out whether or not he's a demon okay. or who he More is. More than says that, not just specifically demon, but like... We've been dealing with ghosts and projections and all okay. sorts of weird stuff lately. I just need to make sure he's a human person, a normal human person. All right. Hi, right. DC still. My boyfriend's oh. a demon. Yeah. That's the all name right. of your anime. Um, 19. 19. Well, he and Clara seem to be talking uh, as if they're familiar with each other. Um, a, he is saying things or talking to Clara. You watch him. Uh, say things about the school and Claire does not seem at all uh, she's not pussed about it she's not put off by any of the things he's saying she's acknowledging them as if they are having a you know um, you watch as they click into like a problem solving mode where they're finishing each other's sentences as they're going around talking about the different things um, he uh, slips in very casual conversations about you know uh, don't worry you wouldn't understand anyway uh, I'll explain that to you when you get a little bit more advanced, things like that. And she doesn't seem to flinch or care about any of that. Uh, well, maybe she flinches a little bit. I don't know. But uh, but it, she doesn't seem to be unnerved by any of it. So be, as their interaction, it seems to be he is who he says he is. Um, Caden starts to pull out one of his daggers and says, Olivia, and kind of like snaps. And not very, not very, but he's very like, just look. Like, Olivia, pay attention. Did, did you see something in there? No. I was get Clara back. Guy, uh, Clara. There's Come something here. that moved in there. I'm not moving. <laughs> I, uh, 
Olivia wants to grab at her. <laughs> Give me an athletics check. Contested. I just want to pull her back. All right. Oh my gosh. Five and five. <laughs> <laughs> so as you pull Love on her, she just doesn't move, but you don't really pull that hard. I'm kind of just like and doing the like pull on the bottom of her skirt. Like, let's go, let's go. Yeah, yeah. And as you're doing that, uh, Kanan, you see the, the circle itself pulses a second time. I want Olivia and Kanan, Hurdler and Clara all to give me perception checks. Oh my Ooh. God. What is. Uh, and Kanan, you get advantage on this. Uh, Nine. Nineteen. Nine. Twenty. Uh, Clara, Hurdler, and Kanan, you see as this. Pulses and a, a bright array of colors flash across it. You see what looks like a giant blue spider with white legs, and you see it for just an instant, and then it's complete. Then it's gone. Um, I'm because still... they're not moving, I'm going to run forward and also I'm going to run forward up to um, uh, Clara, and I kind of grab her and try to turn her head. I'm like, Clara, there's something in that portal. Get back, please. Uh, is it? If if seeing it is it like in the portal with Kieran? Uh, it's actually coming out of the portal. Okay, uh, I I think she'd probably get distracted enough by Caden grabbing her and uh, uh and step back at least with him. Okay, uh, as you do that, uh, he he also saw it and he starts heading back towards the portal and he turns around, and looks at you, Clara, and he says, "If you love me, if you've ever loved me, just find a way to stabilize this." And he jumps back into the portal. And as he does so, the portal <laughs> closes down. The clock remains, but the portal is gone. Um, the lights and all the symbols and circles around die down. And all that's there is the clock. And it hovers in the air. Uh, and you watch as it starts to tick backwards. As he goes back somewhere in time. Okay. The fuck is going on? Was there a giant... You said there was a giant spider? So you listen to Caden, but you don't listen to me when I tell you to move away from the possible threat? We were working on a problem, okay, Olivia? Oh, is he just going to get eaten by a spider? I, I don't see a spider now! Oh, yeah, I don't see a giant portal now, either. <clears throat> That's a different problem that is very complex. I would not expect you to understand it. You started to sound like that guy. What is he, yeah, like, sergeant or something? He... He is a high-ranking professor at the academy that I went to. So, yes. Trying to sound like him because I'm trying to be a better wizard. Oh, so you gotta be just an asshole to be a better wizard? He's not an asshole. He's just better than me. No, I think he definitely falls under asshole. Either way, he's better at pretty much everything that than I am. So... Oh, that's that's bullshit. You're, well, you're good. You say that. The portal. As you say that, this appears right behind you. I knew it. Oh, oh shit. And bites down on Clara and Olivia as you are the two smallest ones. Oh, no. Oh, when you say appear, does it mean like drop down? Do you mean materialize? Nope. Do you Does mean... I have any kind of reaction shield. or a bonus action? Shield is a reaction. Uh, yeah, we're going to actually have everyone roll for combat. Okay, good. Uh... <laughs> Okay. Oh no! Yay! It's been a while. No. Yep, click your token. Uh, right click on your token. Click the okay. uh, combat state, and it'll put you in the initiative. Right, I think it. Okay. <sighs> Fuck. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Hurt alert. Um, just keep in mind uh, what your new AC is. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Uh, Clara, you you turn and you just see this thing appear uh, and bite towards you, and you're able to, like, react faster than it's able to move on you. Uh, what do you, would you like to do? Uh, I It didn't bite me. It hasn't bitten you yet. It's definitely going to be biting you. Okay, I'm going to cast Mage Armor. <laughs> okay. I'm going to turn that music down just a little bit. Music is okay. freaking fantastic, by the way. <laughs> so good. <Okay. laughs> Gets the hype going. Ooh, okay, yeah. I, I think that's all I can do because right. I don't have any bonus that's action. That's an action. So, uh, so you uh, you cast Mage Armor uh, and and 
you know, flinch back. Uh, Caden, you see this thing appear next to Clara. You saw one of them, and you saw the second one. And yeah, he's got long, uh, long uh, pinchers with poison on them. He is uh, heading for Clara. Looks like a tasty snack. Okay. Um, I am going to uh, use an action to pull Clara away back towards Herd. So presumably I might get uh, uh, an attack of opportunity on me, but I'm trying to move her. Grab her, pull her back. I'm not. Sure. Uh, Give me an athletics check. All right. Uh... So you grab her and you're able to pull her around, but you're not able to like push her back towards her. So she is no longer within five feet. Uh, you can you you can bring her to here, but you can't okay. bring her uh, any farther. Um, and that takes your question. whole action. Yes, um, I do have one quick question. Uh, y- y- I have an ability that I would say I've been using throughout the days. Uh, I haven't mm-hmm. rolled it yet. May I y- use that? now as a uh, the false life um, uh, sure so that i know what i have i would have used it uh, uh yeah as soon as you saw the first one you probably would have used it thank you that's uh, all I need. yep okay anything else nope that's that's all i got at the moment magda I'll draw my uh, sword too all right uh, uh keep so- in mind you're wearing you're still in your uh, amazing dress and your hair's still up and you're you're coming from the prison thing. You're not yeah, you're uh, right. currently combat at it out. Okay. Um, I am going to cast. So I just saw these spiders appear Correct. in front of me. No, they just materialize kind of. Correct. I am going to cast uh Fairy fire. Okay. Uh, that's a 14 dexterity check. Yes. And I, oh my God. Sorry, I'm trying to place it, but my sheet is in the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. It's a 20 foot cube. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's ha- it gets half, so he qualifies. Just so you know how I run that. If it's less than half, it, it they're not in it, so it has to be half or more. Uh, mm-hmm. So two dexterity checks. Uh, here's the first one, an eight, and here's the second one, a five. They fail both of them. Uh, both of them have fairy fire on them. Uh, attacks right. on them have advantage, um, among many other things. And uh, I am running away. <laughs> okay, I'm going to just use that symbol for fairy fire, even though they're not stunned. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, that brings this one, the the spider... The first one, the preparative phase spider, uh, was going after Claire, but has been pulled aside, and Caden looks equally delicious. So he is going to make a bite attack on Caden. Seven. <laughs> Seven does not hit, does it? I, I doubt it. Probably not. Uh, uh, so as a bonus action, he disappears. Even uh, with Olivia. fairy fire on him? Even with fairy fire on him. All right. Uh, you can feel your fairy fire still up. He's just gone. Olivia. Okay. Um, uh, Olivia's, uh, after just having this uh, like argument kind of thing with Clara, she's like, looking angrier and angrier, and like her eyes are like kind of doing this like uh, flashy kind of thing where they get like redder and then oranger and then redder and then. She kind of like bursts into this black smoke, like a fire that's just gone out, and another version of her that's like a black smoky cloud pops up, um, yes. with fifteen feet away. Uh, yeah. Oh, I need to. I need to make a, a dark version of this yeah. going so I can have the alternate. Um, it's gonna be yeah. That's that's a good spot. And um, well, actually, a little further away. Okay, yeah, you can move it if you have control over that. Yeah, okay. And uh, so that happens. So that's my bonus action. I'm going to use this to indicate that it's the second one. Okay. Uh, Let's see. Sorry, I'm using a new thing, so. 
you can use your bonus action. Uh, so for anyone who's watching going, what the fuck is she? She is an Echo Knight from um, uh, from Matt yes. Mercer's mind. Yes. Uh, all right. So that's bonus action. And OK. All right. So and then with my action, I'm going to attack this thing with my rapier. OK. Um, and I can I can make one additional. Oh, OK. I see. Um, all right. I can make one additional melee attack from my Echo's position. So then I'll have it beside the thing then. So I can make two attacks. One, one I will. And then the cloud, uh, the, the smoke, Olivia will also right. make an attack. All right. So I can do that twice in a day. That's called Unleash Incarnation. Um, so okay. first attack. Uh, nice. Uh, that hits. Nice. Five points of damage. And then second attack is two natural ones. Oh, no. Oh, so the first nice. one came from you, and the second one came from your incarnation. It just did yeah. not. It kind of doesn't understand Can it Can I yet. rewind time on that one? Uh, Yeah. Yeah, you're allowed to do it anything within 30 feet, I think. Yeah, and she's within 30 feet of me, so I see her, like, miss horribly and know that oh, that... It wasn't me, it was <laughs> the inning, right? It was... Okay, fine, but just, like, we, we can't we can't take that. Like, we're going to yeah. need all the help we can get and snap her fingers and shift it. Okay, uh, make sure you roll it on your sheet so it's tracking how many yeah. you have left, because you should only... That should have been your last one. I have one, one left. Yeah, this is the last one. Yeah, right. you see, like, the two cloud... Ones, I figured it was... <laughs> Might yeah. help. You kind of do like a little bit of a current of air and the cloud kind of shifts position and it goes one more time. 13. 13, uh, 13 hits. Yes. Oh, okay. nice. That's very fire. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, so 16 also now. hits. Cool, cool, cool. So it's 10 uh, points. So, oh, no. Yeah, so having done more damage than, than you, the spider turns towards it, uh, flinching. Anything else you're doing, Olivia, before you leave, before your turn is over? Uh... The, I am going to move. Um, what you got? Come on. Yeah, yeah. The 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 uh, the shadow version of me is going to move back uh, 15, 30 feet. No. Uh, okay. Ten feet. <clears throat> As so the actual back, actual meal it takes an attack of opportunity on it, but misses. Because apparently these things kind of hit shit. Uh, and now that your thing has left, it's just going to turn towards you and bite you. Yeah. Uh, so it bites down on you. 16? Nope. Still doesn't hit. It bites, it chomps in, and you pull yourself away, and it clips over your armor. Uh, and, if, and if a spider could be annoyed, it looks annoyed, and it disappears. That watcher plate armor. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that brings us to Hurdler. Hurdler, you see this combat going down, and you 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 probably they probably brought you their your, your club, so you have your club. Uh, but outside of that, um... this was by design, Matt. Them, <laughs> them disappearing before my turn, right before my okay. Um, I'm going to, uh, as a free action, I am going to set my um, antitoxin. Okay. Right in front of me. I'm having trouble. I'm new to Foundry, kind of. That's where I'm setting it. Um, okay. And then, you know, I'll say, don't step on that. There's an antitoxin right behind you. And, uh, and then I'm going to, as, a, as an action, I'm going to cast Bless. I'm going to do so on Olivia. I'm going to do so on Caden. Can you post the spell, please? Yes. Bless? Sure. Yes, please. I just want to know if it requires any components because they took everything off of you when you were in jail. Okay, I mean, I'll, I, I'll well, link it. it. I'll link just it. I'll... Yeah. Uh, bless. First level spell. Yep, you need uh, sprinkling of holy water, your holy symbol. So if you don't have that. Okay, I'm going to add that if spell. If he has his club, back. wouldn't he have his... We... Is your, your, his um... club's not his holy symbol, is no, it? No, I know, Where's but it? I'm saying, like, if he had time to get his club... Why not no, also the club the club he had left with Clara. So Clara brought brought the club with him. Uh, Everything else was on him and was I taken see, off see. and stored. He was in hiding jail. in the closet when he got right. Around. Yeah, I remember this. I got it. Uh, you don't have okay. to take anything off. Just know that you don't have your your spell components. So verbal and semantic, you can do. You just can't do material. Yep. Anything that requires material. 
Yeah. So you go okay. to cast bless and you reach for your holy symbol and realize that they recognize it as a casting implement and had taken it away from you, and you realize you don't have it. Uh, you can still do something else though. Your turn is not lost. Shit. Okay. So I am going to uh, I'm going to cast divine favor on myself. Okay. Turn off your concentration. All right. You cast divine favor upon yourself. Uh, all, right. all right. Anything else? That's your turn. All right. So the turn starts. Clara, Caden, and Magden, you guys can work together or go individually. It's up to, up to you. I am fine working together. I don't know. I, I don't think I have anything that could help us find this. Um, I'm just going to focus on concentrating and hold the uh, uh, Eldritch Bats for when the next appear. Okay. Uh, sword and dagger, and I'm going to turn to Clara and say... Get, maybe maybe stay with Magda. I'm gonna or get behind her. Yeah, I'm gonna move back to stand next to Magda here. Okay. Uh, so you're holding and and Kaden, you're holding your attack action in case one appears. Yeah. All right. Uh, so uh, one does appear uh, right here, chomping down on Olivia. It's not the same one. It doesn't look very injured. Uh, Magda, you're holding. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Go ahead yes. and roll those. Advantage still. Your fairy fire is still in effect. It did not go yep. away. Uh, 11 misses. Okay. Okay. Sorry, you're not level five yet. I was expecting another one. No, I only have one. <laughs> level uh, yeah, three. So you throw an Eldritch Blast, and as you do so, it turns and just bites down on Olivia. 18. Uh, 18 doesn't hit. <laughs> Right, stupid 19 armor <laughs> class. 19. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, this one has realized its error of its ways. Uh, Olivia, that brings us to you. Sweet. Um, then I'll have... I'll just hit it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> there I go. Uh, attack... 23. 23. Hit. That does hit. Uh, it does 11 points of damage and you just slice across it. It's looking it's looking injured. Badly, mm -hmm. barely injured, but injured. Okay. Um, that's, I will switch spaces with my, with my um, Okay. Uh, I got the other one. Yeah. Basically just Oh, shit. Oh, that okay. is so cool. Yeah. Huh. So we uh, <laughs> flip and right. the normal uh, Olivia kind of uh, um, uh, uh, what was what's the word? I don't know. I just I, I appear there. That's what that's what happens. It's amazing. I was oh coalesce. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah, this is gonna be a cool thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> both Olivia's you see as black smoke is surrounding both of them a little bit around the real Olivia and a lot around the fake. And then they both the smoke just clums in on them and then poof, explodes out. And Olivia has changed spaces. Yes. Uh, the other spider appears. Right here, yeah. uh, and is going to bite on either Clara or uh, Magda because neither one of you are wearing armor. Uh, a one is Clara. Oh, well, hold on. Bite. I'm not wearing armor either. You're also fucking huge. Okay. Does anything happen to it as a result of stepping in the circle? No, the circle seems inert yeah. at this point. Cool. Uh, so it's going to bite at Magda. Yep. 22 yeah, to hit. Does hit. Okay, you take eight points of piercing damage and twelve points of poison damage, uh, for a total of twenty. Uh, roll me a yeah. concentration saving throw, DC ten. That's a lot of dice. Mhm. Mm Rolled poorly on it. I see. I just forgot which one concentration is. That's constitution, right? Constitution, yeah. correct. Yeah. Uh, Eleven. You save. Uh, oh. how, um, as as you dodge and get around it, you're not poisoned. This doesn't give you a poison condition. I don't think. I should probably read the thing. Um, let's see. Where is it? Uh, oh, and uh, DC. I also need you to do a DC 11 Constitution saving throw. You can get. You can save off of half of this. Okay. Uh, no. you, fail, so you take all the damage. Um, but I still take all the damage on a failed save. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
have as much damage as I have. Okay, yep. Um, you it 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 you dodge out of the way. It doesn't pierce your actual skin, but it does you know give you like a whole you know you it it's using up your energy. You're fending off this yeah, thing with yeah. your hand, and it's uh, taking up a bit of energy. Uh, that brings yeah. us to hurdler. All right, hurdler, hurdler, hurdler. It's gonna take his giant club thing and say, "Back off, arachnid!" and smack him in the butt. Okay. <laughs> okay. Back off, correction. I I don't I didn't know what to say. Come on, I'm just no. That's a uh, hmm, that's classic hurdler. Uh, you smack him in the butt, and he looks pretty fucked up, and pretty badly injured at this point. Um, as a bonus act, what? Uh, I think he takes an extra. Oh, the damage extra damage is in there. Okay. Yep. Yep. So, um, and then I'm going to use my War Priest ability, rolling that to track it, and I'm going okay. to attack again. Okay. Uh, yeah, that hits, and as you smack it the second time, uh, it it falls over and its legs curl up, and you watch a small piece of it it'll start blinking out, and then it blinks out completely. Okay, I accidentally drew that uh, circle. And that was not my intent, but um, <laughs> then I'm going to very carefully step around the uh, <laughs> the 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 anti venom, the anti toxin on the ground, up to this one, and I'm going to action surge and attack again. Ooh. Okay, love it. Uh, that one misses as you mm. swing your club around. Uh, it it click 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 along the legs, but doesn't seem to do a whole lot to it. All right, that's my turn. That brings us back to Clara. I'm gonna magic missile the the <laughs> spell spider. All right, it's, it's my last level one spell slot. <laughs> oh, that's one. And then just roll the 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 dice again. Um, uh, okay. Yeah. One more. Yep. One more. Four, oh. five, six, seven, eight. It's looking pretty. It's looking pretty injured. I can't take someone with me on Misty Step, can I? No, that's okay. a dimension door. Okay, I'm I'm not or leaving. Thunder right. Thunderstep, okay. yeah. Yeah. That's Kanan, me, then. It has appeared and it is there. Um seeing this thing teleport around or move or uh, maybe not teleporting, but just appearing wherever it is. Uh, these things move too fast. Uh gonna run forward beside the is it the ghostly olivia or is it the it real is, olivia? but it qualifies to give you yep. you sneak attack you also have hurdle oh. there too so oh nice i totally forgot about that uh and uh he, um caden has got his sword out and as he starts to, to pull it back uh this like slight blue energy starts to pulse up the blade uh and he almost looks at it I, like i don't know what this is stay still and he's gonna swing um and attempt to keep it in place. Okay. Uh, now that attack did not go, so let me actually it did. roll. Uh, yeah, it didn't Is the hit. attack in there? Uh, right, yeah. it didn't do. You still have to do the attack to hit him. Yeah. It didn't hit. Uh, so do a sword sort of attack, that. a short sword attack. Yep. Uh, Sorry, I we'll get this down. Misses. You have, a, you I have, have an any. advantage. It's, it's very oh, far. You have advantage. Yeah, 15 hits. Uh, so you do nine points of damage to it uh, as uh, it's it's looking pretty fucked up. Um, and now it has Boomy Blade, so if it moves, it'll take six thunder damage. Perfect. Uh, I don't know what That's the it. six and the three is. Uh, if I recall, Boomy Blade is target when moves, it takes six. If, oh, and the three is just the additional upcast damage. I think so. Okay. okay. I hmm. I thought that the additional only happens after level five, but I might be wrong. It does. So it does. I don't know why it's yeah, it rolling does. it already. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that brings us to Magda's turn. Uh, you oh, watch as his energy, this blue aura goes, transfers off a Caden sword to around uh, the spider and just, you know, it seems to cling to it. What would you like to do? Uh, I will cast. Elder's Blast again. Okay. Uh, 13 hits. Uh, as you hit it for seven Four. points of damage, uh, this one also 
blinks, 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 and disappears, clearly dead. <sighs> Claire, I don't like your new boyfriend. He's not new. It's the first time you, I've met him. I told you there was something up. He brought demon spiders into this place. I don't think he could do a whole lot from the past. I, I think it was probably whatever the, the, the magic that was drawing from the portal brought these things. Uh, 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 I'm, I'm going to start like looking around for a healing potion for Magda because I don't know that Herd <laughs> found one. Great. Yeah, you start uh, looking around for a med kit. Uh, give me nope. a uh, perception check. Or investigation, rather. Investigation check. Yeah, investigation. I'm... Uh, 22! Uh, yeah, there's uh, Herd never took the healing potion, so... It's well, still there gonna, on the table. I did add it into my. Oh, okay. Inventory. You did. Then yeah, yeah. Uh, you see, Herd has an extra healing potion on his belt. I'm got gonna... I've, I've got it right here. Oh, oh. she's hurt. I okay. appreciate it. Yep. Drink up. Oh, th- thank you. I I don't just give it to you. Like I I force you to administer <laughs> it to you. <laughs> like, open your mouth. Uh, and oh, I open can... your throat hole. Oh, Heard <laughs> no <laughs> boundaries. There's <laughs> consent. Is it is it important? She asked for it. No. Consent. I don't no. Give me it to me, please. Can we, can we can just can, those things? Do are there any more? Can we just take a moment to listen? Do, does anyone see anything? Yeah. Can we? Oh. I can't see it's anything on her. her. Sorry. Olivia and her shadow are just moving like absolutely in sync, but it's still there. And she's like looking and inspecting the portal. How she long does like the shadow around. last for? Until I dismiss it. Oh, geez. All right. It's just always. I love that. So I'm kind of just basically for the rest of the game, I'm just going to be covered in a shadowy aura because it'll just be in my space. And then when I use it, it'll poof out of me. I love it. Yes. So I have an adorable, uh, annoying lab, uh, half mixed <laughs> lab, um, that knows when I'm on stream. Uh, he only has one toy with a squeaker in it, and he gets that toy to bring into my my room to chew and squeak. So I haven't heard it yet. Uh, I did. Awesome. I heard it. I did. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Clear up. Uh, you, if you can't hear it, you can thank Nvidia RTX voice thing that helps clear up background uh, things. Uh, anyway. Uh, as you guys look around, uh, you take 10, 15 minutes of looking around and you feel pretty comfortable saying that there's nothing more here. Uh, how do I roll? Is there a thing to roll the, the health potion or do I just do it manually? Uh, there should, should be able to click it. Um, so yeah, if you go into the items, you can type potion of healing, drag it into your inventory, then click it. Clara, you can roll only... manually if you want. There's a dice roller down there and a health potion is, is uh, what is it? Normal is 2d4 plus 4, right? Yeah. 2d4 plus 2. Yeah. Right. You get plus 6. It's better than nothing. Yeah. You feel yourself a little bit stymied, a little bit of that exhaustion, the, the stamina being pushed off comes back. Um, you guys stand here. The clock continues to tick backwards. You can hear it. Uh, Olivia, so... was this is this... And he's, I'm gesturing to your shadow. Is this from this orb thing here? Or is, is this you? What? Um, I'm not sure. You, what's you going okay? On. Uh, it's a little cold, but it's not bad. Um, yeah, no, this has never happened before. I don't really know what's what's going on. Um, I'm I'm sure it's fine. Right. Of course. There's yeah. a lot of firsts for, you know, for this yeah. party today. Claire, yeah. your boyfriend's a dick. He treats you bad. <laughs> I don't I don't agree. Like him. Well, are you sure you want to get him back? Yes. Get him back like like revenge, right? No. no. Well, that is also an option, but I meant mainly from the portal. He's probably my only way of becoming a better wizard. So no, I'm not just gonna leave well, him stranded in time. I Why? mean, I don't. I'm not gonna pretend to know a lot about magic, but it seems like me and Caden and, and Olivia now are learning a whole lot about magic. 
without the aid of someone like him. So, and you're a whole lot smarter. So it seems like we'll be fine. I, you guys seem to be doing wonderful feats of magic that I have to study months for. So I get it. Not super great at it right now. Working on it. He can help. But uh... this is pretty great, actually. I mean, I didn't even. Know that. <laughs> I don't know why you got to study so much, Claire. It's just it just comes to us, really. I'm stalking out the door. <laughs> that one's pretty cool, Olivia. Thank you, Very thank cool. you. I'm not sure how to turn it off, but it's pretty great. <laughs> uh, Claire, as you stomp out, stomp out the door, and you come out of the portrait. <laughs> Um, you, uh, a smell hits your, hits your nose. Uh, it is the smell of, uh, uh, breakfast. Oh, God. I, uh, was like, I thought she was no. burning the house down. <laughs> uh, and you make your way, your nose follows the smell, an egg is in the kitchen, cooking eggs, scrambling some eggs, and, um, uh, uh, she's also cooking, um, bacon. Uh, fake bacon because bacon's expensive, but it, it's a, a bacon substitute that tastes. You think you might have never had it, but uh, but yeah. So uh, she's cooking. Oh, there you are. I uh, you guys seemed really like uptight and stuff. And whenever I'm uptight, I like to eat breakfast. So I went out and grabbed some stuff and uh, and uh, here's some breakfast if you're hungry. Uh, That's actually and- really nice. Thank you. And she's like very overwhelmed. <laughs> Sir, uh, she hands you like a little dish towel. This is if you start to cry. Here's a here's your breakfast and a towel. That's some water. Uh, there's some wine in the. I found uh, you know half a empty bottle of wine. Uh, you wine know, and breakfast a, sound great. Honestly, let's let's do that. I prefer. Uh, so half she goes full, back but... to the stove. Uh, everyone else stays in this room, so they don't they aren't aware of this. Uh, what are you guys doing? Well, first off. What were those things? Does anyone know? They were spiders. I saw that much, yeah. Um, and they were blue and, you know, had streaks of white. Y- yeah, I think we all got Yeah, uh, you're very observant. Well, uh, you know. Anyway, yeah. I might uh, check the books back at the back at the base, but, uh, yeah, I have no idea. Never encountered anything like it before? Hmm. Then this this portal, is it, there, there's a clock you said that's going? It's still ticking? The clock is ticking. The hands on the clock are moving backwards, but everything else, all the um, arcane writing on the inside and the outside of it are no longer there. Now it's just a clock hovering in the middle of the air, ticking backwards. A three-dimensional clock. Is it the size that we see here, like this big, like twenty yes. foot across kind yep. of thing? Okay. Mm. There's, uh, it's inside of a of of like a magic circle that's been etched into the stone. I'm just gonna say now, I don't trust anything about this guy or this house. And I would have to agree. Yeah. You know, Anthony compared to this guy didn't seem too bad to me. Yeah, I mean, I think we might need to work. I mean, maybe maybe it's just because, you know, my sister, you know, I don't know. Something about this guy. I, I just don't like it. I, no, no, I don't think she was. Yeah. Something was up. That was, Claire was acting weird. And she can do better, right? Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, it's a low bar, but I think she could probably. Maybe. What do you, what do you mean, low bar? Well, uh, someone who isn't a jackass, maybe. Mm. R- better is a low bar. Got it. That's probably how I meant it, yeah. Uh, anyway. Um, I'm just going to look around Olivia just yeah. starts kind of walking around the room, looking at things. What are you looking for specifically? Or um, just looking to see what's in here? Well, I think maybe looking at uh, 
the magical-y looking stuff. Like, she's looked through a few uh, magic books before, and they were pretty dang confusing. But maybe, maybe this time around it'll be okay. So as you as you go through and start to try to look through, give me an Arcana check. Mm. Okay. Uh, no, nope. so, it doesn't become less confusing. I feel very validated. <laughs> I am not good at anything today. Um, that was an eight for anyone. Listening. Yeah, um, yeah. So as you sort of looking through, uh, you can pick up that these books, uh, there's a lot of different books in here. There's uh, books about the creation of the wall. There's books about the curse. Um, these are, you know, uh, you can pick up what they're about. You don't grasp any of the like it's it's mathematical formulas a supposition about source and cause um it's clear that this guy uh is from what you heard and from what you're reading that he thinks going back in time will solve the curse issue and that's what he's aiming for uh but outside of that you do not understand the hows and the or the whys and the what's and the what it's just like you know you you can't even really pick out what book is the the one you should be using there's no time travel for beginner book in here it's it's very all convoluted and complex i just kind of lift a few of the most interesting looking ones and just walk over to magda and her if they're still talking and uh maybe you guys know more magic stuff uh maybe you magda know mar oh, magic no. i mean i'll take uh, a look not you know who knows uh, magic well? Clara. Clara knows magic well. Yeah. I yep. think uh, we should maybe ask her, because uh, time travel? Uh, not I that you can... That was a thing. I think we just need some answers. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go follow after Clara then. Okay, uh, you guys uh, leave following after Clara. Uh, she is um, at the kitchen table uh, eating eggs. Uh, Sadly, and with a glass of wine in one hand. <laughs> a glass of wine in one hand uh, from a half-empty bottle of wine uh, from the last time you were over here, Clara. Um, and, uh, you know, just eating eggs. Ag, Ag is talking to her a mile a minute uh, about, you know, when I get that, you know, it's because people just don't take me seriously. And that's really irritating, but there's really not a whole lot. Like, it's just a buzz in the back of your mind, Clara. <laughs> She's, know. like, still nodding absentmindedly and being like, maybe mm -hmm. I like you more than I thought I did. <laughs> uh, and then when she sees you guys, oh, hey, guys, I made some for you, too. You guys want some eggs and bacon? It's not bad. Hey, egg. That would be lovely. Thank you. Uh, she serves you guys up some plates. Uh you know, um, uh, most of the wine's gone. Uh, she drank it, but uh, we have some water. I would love some water with my my fake and eggs. Right, so she uh, serves you up that. Yeah, she's she's not like walking around the kitchen like a like a mother. She's like dancing around the kitchen, like you know, like you know, this is the most fun thing she's done in a long time. Uh, but that's the way she's so far has approached literally everything. This is a blast. Yeah. So, where were you guys going? I looked for you. I couldn't find you. I thought you guys had left, but uh, but then um, you're here, so obviously you didn't leave, or maybe you did leave and you came back. Anyway, uh, where'd you guys go? Did you figure out what you needed to figure out? Because you guys needed to have a conversation egg, when I wasn't egg, here. Egg, and... egg, 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 please. Just take oh, a moment. sorry. Right. Take a breath. I understand. Where'd you guys go? That painting's a magic portal. Yeah. It goes to... My boyfriend's secret house. Didn't know about that. And uh, just spiders were there, so don't go through. Like, and not small spiders, Ooh. like big, giant, fang poison spiders. So you don't know, go through there, please. You know what works on spiders? If you say fire, I'm going to be more upset. And I was starting to like you. Well, it does. Okay. Just... Let's try not burning down the repository of knowledge that I have to learn about magic, please. Why Fine. do you suppose that he kept that secret from you? And what other <laughs> secrets do you think he might be hiding from you? I mean, mm. the mansion could be a secret for me because he wants his own space. I don't know. I uh, the 
the magical problems were not so much a secret. We had been trying to work on some of that for a while before he disappeared. So his progress is new. So, time travel? Yes. I mean, you probably have noticed I can I can mess with time a little bit. Uh, I, we're still not sure how, why that's its own problem, but uh, uh, we've been trying to figure out how time travel could help us solve various sorts of problems. Kieran wanted to know more about the curse. And he thought going back for a first-hand account might help him, apparently. This feels like one of those things that is just... There's far too many consequences. Sure, but it's worked out for us so far. What have you done so far? Well, I turned back time so that you could hit that spider. That was me? You failed, and I saw it, and I let you succeed. I don't... I didn't see it, so it didn't happen? You know what? That's... That's about what I expected from you, Olivia, so... Oh, good. I haven't done anything, clearly, so... Any more time-related questions? Because I know only about as much as, uh, as I've been able to study. I don't know what Kieran was trying to really accomplish, but uh, I would very much like to get him back. Caden, uh, as an aside, you find uh, a couple good, you know, th he, had, he had a decent wine collection, not the best you've ever seen, but, you know, you come out of the room with some two bottles of wine, good years. You know, I, I only caught the trail end of that. If if it if you turn back time, did it? I mean, it's kind of like it didn't happen then, right? Like it didn't, didn't happen for you. I hmm. I can remember the things that happened that I changed. You might not. That's disconcerting. I I didn't say it was great, but it's useful. What happens if you go back in time, change the stuff that happened with the wall, and then none of us exist? Then the, the curse is over, but we don't exist. It's... But if you've never existed, then how did you go back in time to fix the curse? Look, it's it's a bit more complicated than that. It, it, time is weird here. It, it, it's not what you think. Time... Mm. And she takes, like, a big gulp of wine. <laughs> uh, things are not exactly what they seem. That's the most that I've been able to figure out as Kieran and I have been working on this. Uh, time is able to be manipulated. I apparently can do some of it. We're still figuring out how much. Uh, but I think it's it's a little bit more complicated than just going back and solving things. So I don't think you need to worry about suddenly disappearing from existence. You know, Clara, first off, I, I want to say I'm sorry and that I understand, you know, the men in your life are your choice. I've, I told you, you know, my feelings about this man. And, uh, but I think it's more important that you you know, express your, how, there's a lot that just happened here. How does that whole thing make you feel? You, <laughs> That's your wine right there. Yeah. I, I could go get a real one, but. Uh, you met him for five seconds in a time of high stress. I've known him for years. And those were years that some people, just looks at Olivia, weren't around at all. So at least he was there for me. My choices are my own. You can not like him. He certainly has his own quirks, but he's useful, if nothing else. 
Easy, easy. I'm going <laughs> to interpose myself between the two ladies. Yeah, the shadow was creeping forward. Olivia was trying to stay still, but the shadow was, like, getting closer and closer. <laughs> Caden will push one of the bottles of wine onto the counter and just be like, maybe, maybe I'll share one of these. Open it up. It's a, an early start. No, it's, uh, yeah, so that whole, like, investigating the mansion, getting in there, all of that, your your research, you're looking, figuring out the problem and the solution, that took quite a bit of time. Uh, probably a good two hours, um, which puts us around, if I am if I recall my time correctly, Magda, around four o'clock. <laughs> Still a little <laughs> early. I'm going to give Magda day. the keen mind feet just because <laughs> <laughs> Zoe has it, <laughs> so that way she always knows what time it is. So instead of asking me, I just ask her. Um, uh, but yeah, yeah, it's about four o'clock. Um, uh, you still have an appointment tonight, um, but I don't know how many <laughs> you, if you guys remember that. I know Magda and Caden do, um, but yeah. Uh, Hurdler, you don't have your armor, your spellcasting focus, anything like that. So, Clara, are you just going to hide away here and work on saving your boyfriend for the rest of the time? Or are you going to actually help us with the stuff with Mom? I, number one, I need Azerite powder, which is fairly hard to get. So probably going to need to work on that a little bit. Uh, I, I'm not just going to abandon one, our new friends, waving back towards Magda and Kata. Not really sure that they're where she's waving, but... Right. Um, <laughs> Hopefully not smacking one of them in the face. <laughs> um, just <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> um, evasion. <laughs> yeah. We've gotten ourselves into multiple pickles that need to be uh, uh, solved. So no, I'm not just going to abandon all of you. It's not the kind of person I am. Oh really? Oh really? Not the kind of. I'm pretty sure you were the first one to do that, Clara. Pretty sure Mom was the first one to do that, but uh, who's counting? Mm. Uh. You got ladies, we're in our own ways, we're all victims here. All right, she's just turning to Magda and Caden, just like done with this. Uh, and it's like, the rook, are we doing this? Oh, um, yeah, I mean, we've got a few hours till then, still. Um, there's, there's more here that's happening, like this. Uh, yeah, apparently that powder is really expensive. So what are you just going to dump a bunch of money into this, which is something that you shouldn't be doing because this person is gone. He's been gone. He left, decided to go. Like the person that you said that you didn't want to be. Like, aren't you chasing somebody who's just like mom? He didn't mean to leave. We had plans and he got trapped in a weird time vortex and I can solve it. So... He, he didn't mean to leave, but but he's mean. Mm -hmm. That's he's not mean. That's how he's always been. That's, always been mean. It's for my own good. I have to learn. What is Clara? That's not. You know, I know it's hard taking advice from siblings, or maybe you can take advice from someone who has been in a lot of relationships. He's mean and a prick. Sure. <sighs> Maybe that's that's how he comes across. We can talk about this later. Um, yeah. Uh, Azurite powder. Where do you even get that? I'm sure I can ask around a few places, but uh, that can be dealt with. He's certainly not going anywhere. Or going when anywhere. I don't know. That's a lot. Uh, um, any idea of how much or how much it costs? Do I? Would I have a general idea of how much it would cost? This is uh, nothing you've had to explore before. Um, okay. Uh, like learning a new programming language. You have to go figure out what has the right power, how to use it, what it, you know, You've never done enchanting. Your your father might have some idea of it, but yeah, he was going to be my go to for that. So, uh, I can ask. I can do some research on that, but it, it. I think we have some more pressing 
things to figure out today. Yeah, this is fair. Um, Olivia, I don't suppose you can get Herd's armor back. Oh, yeah, I can probably actually do that, sure. Um, it's probably just in storage. I'll just grab it in all your little bag of fancy bits, whatever you carry. Uh, I don't know, it's component. Yes, I, uh, I, I prefer a bag of fancy bits. <laughs> right. Okay. Oh, Olivia, also, um, uh, your lieutenant, uh, Lieutenant Tom, he might come to ask you about someone called Madeline Ventress, and I need you to just say, you can't contact her and don't know where she is. Okay. Um, I'm not... This might be easier because I don't even know who she is. Because I, I just... It seems like whenever I try to lie to somebody, they just don't usually believe it. Um, this is very simple. If you don't know that name, it's even better. Okay. It's not that I don't understand. It's just that... They just no, no, I know, I know. That okay. lying is hard. It is... It is uh, can't contact her. Don't okay. know who she is. Madeline. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yep. Um, so should I get the armor now, or should we? We're going to the rook tonight. Yes, we are. Is that safe for me? Probably. I mean, I assume you're talking about your armor. Oh, More so uh, than anything else. Oh, we were going to... Should we dye it, or paint it, or... That's... Yeah, I, I don't know. There's, I'm I'm a wanted bugbear. Oh, I don't think we're so wanted right now. If they let you out, like, they might keep I mean, their eye out more. But I did, I did talk him out. They were going to release him. So, I mean, I can try to say that that I did it myself. It just an early release. Maybe? Yeah. I mean, you did give him the key, so. Yeah. And I was just excited to leave, and that's why I was running. I I, I don't think anyone saw you running. This, you were walking. There were two individuals. Well, it's true. Yeah, I, I was walking fast, I guess. I Which was two running. Individuals? Uh, the two that were investigating the goblin's death. Uh, the Kenku mm -hmm. and the gnome. Trill and Samuel. Gotcha. Well, we can be on the lookout for them if they're on the lookout for you, but I don't know that it's going to hurt any more than it already hurts to go and talk to the Rook. Though, if you want to lay low, you could stay here. I'll come. Okay. <clears throat> so you sit down to have a planning session. Olivia, do you go right away to go get the armor? Uh, it's yeah. going to take yeah, a little bit because well. you have to jump on the tram, head down. Uh, uh, just, does anyone go with her? Not me. <laughs> not me. Um, don't have to. Okay, so she yeah, goes off by herself. Oh, can I send Kafka after her? Like, uh, Wait a few minutes and send him after her? Sure. Just in case. Uh, what's your instructions for Kafka? Uh, if Olivia's in trouble, come back here. Okay, you know that it's like a long round trip. Uh, she's hopping on the tram 20, 30 minutes back into the center of the city. So, uh, okay, so Olivia heads out uh, and you guys I, sit. Go ahead. She spends like a good 10, 15 minutes uh, outside attempting to get rid of the shadow. And it takes <laughs> about that long, but she left really confidently, like nothing was going on. And then just okay. like in the bushes, like yeah, until <laughs> finally it's gone. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, you can do that as many times a day as you want, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> Kafka is outside. <laughs> you glance through his eyes briefly. You see Olivia. Just filing that away. Not going to say anything. <laughs> it makes me feel better emotionally. <laughs> okay. Uh, so um. Let's do Olivia first. Uh, 
And uh, so, Olivia, you hop on the tram and you head down into the center of the city where the barracks is. Mm -hmm. Uh, You get to the front gate. um, You walk through. um, And as you uh, walk through, there's a guard uh, at the front gate who greets you, um, you know, glances at your sword hilt, sees your rank, um, and and says, uh, you're Olivia, right? Yeah. 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 the um, Hagrid uh, wants to see you. Now, Hagrid is the person in charge of paperwork, effectively. Uh, she is the the one who, when paperwork does not get filed correctly, summons you to her office uh, to straighten it out. Um. <laughs> All right. Uh, said it was important. Uh, I... I guess I'll go. I don't want to carry the armor around. I'll go there first. Okay. Uh, you uh, walk into Hagrid's office and she looks up and she goes, You! I can't believe you. Uh, <clears throat> she reaches over and she starts pulling some papers out. She goes, uh, Proper release form for a prisoner, form 27-2A. You need to fill this one out in a triplicate. Uh, secondary release form for the second prisoner, which was not supposed to be let go, but some strings were pulled. You're lucky for that. That's uh, this form right here, 17H. Uh, you need to fill that one out in triplicate. Uh, you failed there, to release like, some... his armor and things. You need to fill that one out in triplicate. You also left the key in the lock. Uh, so there's this form for you. Fill that one out in triplicate. Uh, and she hands you this like tall stack of paperwork that you need to fill out. Uh, so you need to sign this written warning for using friends. That's strike two. Uh, and you also need to uh, fill this one out uh, or sign this one. This is a write-up. Um, or sorry, strike one. This is a write-up uh, for uh, letting a prisoner who is not ready to be released out. Uh, that's strike two. Three strikes, you lose a stripe. You lose your rank. Uh, um, uh, you need to sign both of these. You can thank the Lieutenant Thomas. Uh, he uh, he took care of the prisoner one and said they were supposed to be released, but you still get written up. Also, don't fuck over my paperwork again. You have no idea how much work this was for me. I will see you on on patrol duty for a month if you pull a stunt like this again. And she just hands you this big thing of paperwork and storms off. Fuck. <laughs> Just pick it up and put it in my locker, go get the, the shit and go. <laughs> um, I have other so things. So you don't fill it out? Uh, not yet, no. I have other things to do right now. Okay, so you know that you would want this back by the end of the day. So, oh, you know, in the next couple hours. Did she say that? Oh. She doesn't have to. You've been around long enough to know that this is like, you know, a prisoner was let loose without the proper paperwork being filed. And, you know, uh, so. All right. Go into the break room, take some cookies or something, go to my office and start yeah. the paperwork. So while you're in the break room, there's a sign posted on the refri- the cold oh, box no. door. <laughs> Anybody who knows what happened to the uh, snacks uh, <laughs> and sandwiches for employee appreciation for the new recruits, please contact. And there's a there's a uh, a uh, a name um, right there. Hmm. Weird. Yeah. Check the cabinets. Oh, hey, pop tarts. Take a box. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go into my office. Uh, so you don't have an office anymore because you are transferred over to work with the uh, DMV. Yeah. Uh, but you know, you take a public space and you sit down, and it takes you probably a good hour and a half to fill this paperwork out. <sighs> I, I I'm just gonna leave a few of the crumbs on there, just just to, just okay. as, just for spite. But yeah, no, fade to black. Right. Is it? Yeah, you fill the paperwork out, uh, you turn it in. Doing so, you know that hurdler is not wanted. It's just considered, you know, they they just figured it was a paperwork mess up, not a um, not an escape. Uh, Ag is also not considered escape, but that was Lieutenant Thomas not wanting an uh, escape on his record, so he just said he was released or she was released. Um, and you have two warnings. If you get a third warning, you will lose your rank, which is private first class, and you'll be bumped down to private. 
Uh, mm. uh, so yeah, uh, you fill all those out, sign them, turn them in, grab his armor, um, and um, calmly head back to the tram station. Oh no, <laughs> not at all. She's fuming again. Probably a little bit smoky. <laughs> but no, this is bad. I was working on getting a promotion, and this is just a downgrade. Uh, they do they do go off your record after a series of time, though. So after a couple months of keeping your nose clean, they'll go off your record. All right. Uh, so, uh, so you head out. Um, uh, back at the camp, uh, back at the uh, safe house, um, the... Uh, the love nest? Uh, uh, yeah. Karen Gall's safe the house. Yeah, what are <laughs> They weren't married. Yet. Well, that you know. <laughs> that you know of. Uh, so yeah, back here. Um, you, let's have a let's have a, a planning session, but we have break in five minutes. So uh, I'll give you guys five minutes to figure out what your plans are for the rook, and we'll pick back up after that. Okay. Uh... Five ten. Okay. Real life minutes, not in game minutes. Well, does anyone have any ideas, any suggestions? The Rook is not something that someone who we want to push too hard. Yeah. There's not a lot of places that the Rook's influence doesn't extend to. I have a fair idea what he wants, which means can probably um, hopefully we can just uh, move on from if it this. Helps, if it helps, I can disguise self. That's as deceptive as my spells get. It's a very deceptive spell. I'm uh, he's expecting all of us. Yeah. Um, I think it's probably best if we are just ourselves when we arrive. There's a certain bit of, some people would find it odd, but there's a bit of a code. Uh, he's a unique, the Rook is a unique individual in that um, there's a lot of respect for the Rook. It's not just a common criminal. He's organized. He, Olivia would know this. He's organized all of the fighting bands, the various organizations that um, across Ujama that would have been at each other's throats. He's got a position in the actual government. He's he, one of the advisors, if I remember correctly. That's yeah. That's the rumor. Okay. No, yeah. there's no, you know, nobody, he has neither confirmed or denied that to anybody. Okay. And, and so this guy, I would, this I would guy suggest wants to meet that we, person? Yeah. yeah. The fact that he sent Tubby to see us, to see me, <clears throat> means that usually if the, if the Rook wants someone dead, they're dead. Tubby came to see us, it means he wants to see us. It's, so what, I, we were told safe passage in and out. That's what Tubby said. Yeah, we were promised that much. So, I mean, to me, it doesn't seem like there's much planning to do. We go in there and we see what's going on. Hmm. Do you are? What does he want? Other than you two. we've had dealings we've had interactions in the past it's if it's not it may not come up I don't know let's just listen alright so we're going to go to the mob and we're going to listen to what they want from us and then we're just going to leave yes that's the goal. Okay, that's, you know, uh, 
Unless you have a better idea, Clara. I mean, I feel like we should be prepared for, like, he says safe passage in and out, but is that actually going to be uh, upheld once we're once we're gone? Like, safe passage out of wherever we're meeting, but that doesn't mean we're going to get home. You're right, unfortunately. But um, I would say the one thing that the Rook is is efficient. And I don't see why all of this would go about unless there was a reason. If we were to be killed or there was information just to be extracted from us, it would have been done. And also... There's a reason Tubby, would, reason Tubby was willing to stand and talk with me. And also I will say that all of these things are possible, which is why we should be on guard. But we're not going to make any aggression first because the Rook is not someone we want to cross unless we have to. All right, so we're gonna addendum, we're going to the mob, we're gonna talk, we're gonna be respectful about it because mob, and hope that it's fine. Yeah. You know what, I, it's, it's been a day, I'm just gonna go with it. I trust you guys. Sure. I mean, to be fair, it's not that much stranger than your um, boyfriend who's been missing for a year just showing up out of a magical portal with some spiders and then disappearing. To be fair, that's not fairly unusual for uh, Academy business. It, weirder things have happened, if you'd believe it. Let's put it this way. It's weird for me, having not been in your world, and this is weird for you, having not been in our world. And that's why I'm trusting you two, because I, I, you probably know better than we do. Fair enough. Meg, uh, I will say before we go, though, you look like you're you s a bit of rest. I am exhausted, yes. Uh, can I take a short rest while we've been chatting yeah. while Olivia go does, and does her stuff? Yeah. yeah, Olivia doesn't get back. You have to meet him. Uh, you're told you were told to meet at uh, the something tailed the mouse the the long tail gray crap oh, crap what did I tell you Hold on. who gets it first Hold on. <laughs> who finds him for me Tubby messenger for Rick talk to it. Uh, you're told to meet at an inn um, you find it no I I. Oh, just wrote down Tubby question <laughs> mark. <laughs> uh, no, it was uh, it was a two tailed mouse in, um, and uh, so you're told to meet there. And uh, uh, at eight o'clock, Olivia, uh, you walk in, um, smoking still a little bit uh, around seven fifteen, cutting it really tight. Tight. Everybody else gets a short rest. Ag was quiet during your whole conversation, but she was listening. Um, uh, and, um, you know, she goes, well, I have to do my own errand. Uh, I have a thing to find. Um, should I, uh, disappear? Thank you for helping. Or should I come back here? Personally, I'm still interested in that treasure. Yes. And you've been very helpful. So, Thank you. uh, do you want her to stay here? Egg, you should uh, definitely that... stay. That, it's It's been so nice getting to know you so far, and the food you cooked was just lovely. I think you should definitely you stay and not be, not be too far from us at any given time. You've been part of all of these incredibly interesting conversations, and I think it would be great for you to stay nearby. Oh, you want me I to think... go with you? I don't want to go meet the Rook. He's no, the... no, you don't have to meet oh, the Rook. Let's stay <laughs> here. You. If you uh, can stay here oh. and make sure spiders don't come out of the magical yes. portrait, that would be if cool. If they do, oh, no. I can't cast. I can't cast anything. Thank you. That would be wonder if if you could help pick up. I, I will come back later tonight, and we can, I we can figure it out. Just oh, keep good. an eye on things. Don't I will clean the place up for three gold. I flip her three gold. <laughs> Fantastic. I should have asked for more. Uh, Olivia, when you get back, uh, Ang goes, hey, Olivia, uh, could you take these off of me, please? And they're the bracers that keep her from casting. 
do they cover her hands like all the way? No, or can no, she it just suppresses them? her. She can still use oh. her hands. She just can't cast magic. It suppresses the ability. Oh, I left the keys. I was just, I just came like I'm carrying like a huge thing of plate armor, which is incredibly heavy. I left my keys at work. Is it all right if you just keep those for like a day? Do you have the one for the collar? Because I can't really go outside without the collar, you know. Uh, oh, you're leaving? Well, no, it's a, you know, uh, by the way, Herd still has his collar on, too. Because <laughs> he left without it being taken off. Yeah. Herd, please, please take this, like, dragging. <laughs> so it's two different keys. There's one key for bracers and there's one key for the collar. Mm -hmm. um, the bracers are not something you would carry around. Uh, on a general basis, because they're they're like uh, you don't need to. Um, regular old collar works for ninety percent of the people, and if they won't, um, if they like to try to cast magic at you, you can usually beat them into submission. You know, uh, can't cast magic when you're unconscious, kind of thing. So um, right. the bracers are mostly for keeping them in jail, so they stop trying to blast through their cell wall or something like that. Yeah, so, so I you, don't have. Yeah, you would you would need to get a key from the jail cell to take them off. Uh, but the collar, you have the, the key for that. You carry a key with you. Yeah, man. Don't have the key for either of those. I just uh, I left it at work. Oh, bummer. And I'm going to have to call in a favor. This no, we'll get, it, we'll get it in the morning for you. How's that? Yeah, card is to sleep with the thing on. You, haven't you been in jail for a while? Just, <laughs> there's a lot of pillows. Yes. Just like Put some pillows around your head. Are you promise you'll take them off tomorrow? There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, if you're lying, we'll see a deception check. <laughs> Otherwise, roll me persuasion. Okay, I was trying to decide if she's lying or not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> zero. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Zero. Oh man. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. yeah. She yeah. just gives you a long look, and you see her brain working. Okay. And she just turns around and heads back into the house. Anybody Quietly, not talking. Seen that? I guess. Uh, I mean, I, I said I, I don't know. What, what are you looking at me like uh, that for? And that's where we're gonna take our break. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so I... we'll be back in 10 minutes. Uh, hit the bathroom, smoke a cigarette if you do have that habit. Uh, and uh, smoke them if you got them, I think is the proper way to say them. Uh, if you're in the military. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. None of us do. We've been doing a lot of military research this week, it seems. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah. Major uh, Lieutenant. Yeah. Major Lieutenant. Yeah. Lieutenant His name Major. is Lieutenant Major, Major. Thomas. <laughs> Yeah. Brand. Brand. Yeah, brand. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, uh, we'll be back in 10 minutes. Uh, we'll pick back up uh, as you guys head off to speak with the Rook. Uh, so, uh, see you in 10. I think we're gone. I'm not sure. Oh. Hi. Hi. We took over again. We. Hans DM. We have killed Matt and we have taken over the stream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No more emotional trauma. We're all good. We've defeated the Rook. It's great. Yes. We're actually the new Rook. Oh, sorry. Caden <laughs> is now the leader of the Mafia. Yeah. Magda has become an advisor. And the world is good. <laughs> Olivia got her promotion. Lieutenant Major Olivia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lieutenant Major Olivia. Yep. Heard. Heard got a therapy license. Oh. <laughs> Dr. Hurd. Mm -hmm. Dr. Ladur. Dr. Ladur. I love it. And then what happened to Clara? We didn't hear a Clara epilogue. I'm now the leader of the academy I went to. Crackney Academy. Dr. Shitty Boyfriend. Hi, Master. Or, oh, yeah. or something. Mm -hmm. Arch Dumped the professor. Dean or Clara. I got him back and now I'm more powerful than him. 
Oh, uh, oh he found that so a role reversal. Now you treat him like trash. He wears the skull girl outfit. <laughs> now he wears the school girl outfit. What if he was always wearing? <laughs> yeah, you never asked who was wearing it. To be fair, Wait, I mean we... it did fit her. It apparently based on the art. <laughs> we have a third art piece now. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I did the new updated drawing of him too, and now I'm gonna. I it's gonna have to happen at some point this week, as I will. I'll do you that don't even too. need to do full body. Just put it on the portrait. In case uh, no one's taking a look, you should check out the uh, underscore roll ink underscore roll ink um, Twitch Twitter. Twitter. You're on um, Twitch. You can check because, Twitch too. Uh, Zoe. Down there. Oh, things have moved around. Zoe. Um, let me see. Clara and no, Clara and Ray. I don't know. Wait, what are you pointing? So Sorry. Ned, I'm Ned. trying to name people. All three of the women in this stream are incredible <laughs> artists. So we've got lots of great art up on, twi on Twitter. Yeah. Trying, to, trying to like look at the stream and figure out. Oh. So I think yeah, you're the game master is... now. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, I'm in the weird spot. Everyone's kind of moved around. You uh, have become the game master. Nope. Oh, this way. Oh. Let's see, what happened to Matt? I think I we should know. do a poll. What what should we convince Matt uh happened while he was gone? Oh, he's typing. Yeah, we know we're live, Matt. <laughs> we know. We're coming up we with canon. Chat, help us out. What do we convince Matt happened? Hmm. Huh. Um. The boyfriend definitely transformed back into his demon form, his true form. <laughs> his <laughs> true like, form, right? Yeah. 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 He has spider legs. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. you, that's where the spiders came from. Yeah, he's the male like version of the loath, loth, loth. Wolf. The, he's the spider queen. Yeah. I don't the, know. The dryers. I don't know that I want to do this in there. Got <laughs> You're like dating a, spider man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got like a big spider butt. Oh, <laughs> that's why she. <laughs> Make sure to put that in the character art with the, with the draft. With the you know, I didn't butt. plan on drawing his butt, but... I mean, that was his spider butt. You got it. Now I have to draw him as a weird spider person. Oh, this is canon. Have to. Have to. He's, he's yeah, demon spider king. Pose too. We, we gotta no, see yeah. why Sarah picked him. Do it in, like, one of these poses where he's got, like... And he's got, like, <laughs> showing, like the butt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oops, I time traveled. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, did oh, I do like, that? Legs <laughs> flip up. <laughs> One oh, of man. eight. I really appreciate all the ragging on my boyfriend. He's great. No, I sense. I mean, is that the right word? Really? Appar I mean, I didn't use it, but now the DM has used it, so apparently he's my boyfriend. Hmm. Well, so that wasn't exactly uh, planned to be your boyfriend. I mean, I appreciate the commitment, which hadn't oh. necessarily been said before. <gasps> oh, so that was well, the first time it had been said. Ooh. I mean, he did make that big love declaration. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Well, in the portal, he's he's totally trying to manipulate you into getting him out. What? No, he really loves me. Oh. <laughs> Clara you know, I just heard love, love and I. <laughs> yep. Clara and Magda need to have a long talk. <laughs> what is. We're probably going to have a chance to have this conversation. It's going to take like an entire hour. You know, probably. There's a lot of misconceptions that she's got to deprogram. <laughs> hmm. I'd, I'd like to be the therapist for that talk. Do you, uh, the, wait, the coordinator and kind you? of. Do you the really referee, want to hear about your I mean, I think Clara had like a whole list of things to to ask Magda. Oh, she does, and now I'm not sure her one to hear. Yeah, do you want to hear about your sister's relationship life? Um, does her I don't. Learn how to her the 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 does my character does. What? He does. Just, yeah, <laughs> he wants to know what's going on with you. <laughs> Clara's <laughs> a to the wrong sibling. He's a great listener. 
it's probably more in a healing way. Right, right. Yeah, Not I think like there's a, a song about that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, you guys could uh, work it out right now. We have some time. Anyone wants to get out some short rest conversation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, all right. What are we doing? We were planning. Does anyone else want to? Well, if if Olivia comes back, she doesn't know anything that's going on. Um, okay. But so you, you come through the door. Yeah. Uh, Matt's uh, out here. Uh, you can well, do what you want. <laughs> well, we already did. We are. I already did come through the door, and I gave her his armor back. And then, oh right. Uh, then I tried to convince uh, egg. the the egg that right. I that I actually am going to take the collar off, but I did that. The egg. The egg. Okay. You, he's an egg that serves eggs and uh, faking, apparently. Mm. I'm starting to come around to egg. You know me too. It's too nope. late now. You're not so bad, Egg. <laughs> too bad. Oh, so who's gonna? Why would you talk to the one NPC that's not here? <laughs> this is my opportunity to monologue. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is in Herd's head. Herd presents a soliloquy. <laughs> you know, I actually kind of like you. You're not so bad, despite what they say. You know, the lisp. Heard eggs over there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> your your time in prison really got to you. Yeah. Talking to himself. How are you doing, Heard? Are you feeling okay? I mean, you did uh, like break out of jail. It's all been so crazy. I I just don't I don't know how to handle it, to be honest. And when uh when I don't know how to handle things. I tend to cry. It's okay, her. Just get it out now. I'll just, I'll just get it out now. Before we go talk to the rook. I'm gonna go <laughs> tear stained to the, the rook. <laughs> our, <laughs> our largest and most intimidating person. <laughs> we got props, people. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Mm. Oh my goodness! Um. Oh, <laughs> uh, are are any is any of us going to go in disguise, or is her need any? Disguises? I can disguise. Yeah, but only oh, myself. How did, oh. how did everything go back at the the station? I mean, were they upset, or I mean, he got his armor. Yeah, they're just. I didn't fill out the paperwork, and so I had to fill out every single thing, and I got two strikes, and I'm going to be fired if I get another one. But, yeah. You know what? It's not so bad again. being fired. <laughs> I, it was been... actually pretty bad when you did. You, know, you swore was. revenge? It was, it was pretty bad. Oh, God. Oh, oh no, no, back. Hurt, hurt. Oh, no. Let him get him out. Let him, let him get him out. Okay. Did, heard? This might be a bad time to bring it up, but did I tell you heard that like uh, Mike was like rising in the ranks in the GTA? He's oh god, kind of running it. Yeah, who's Mike? Mike is another bugbear, and uh, he's headed out for me. I don't know why. I suspect it's you know I have a twin brother, and I suspect that he might have thought that I'm my twin brother. And my twin brother might have done something, but I haven't actually talked to him in a long time. And so I don't know what he might have done. I, the guy got me fired from, from uh, the GTA. And, uh, but it, all in all, you know, it, it hurts at the beginning, but I think it was for the best. Was it? You're working with us now. Well, exactly. When does the... When was the last time you saw Lurdler? Lur? Oh, geez. It was probably you know, right when we went off to the watch. That was that had to be like 15 years ago. That's been so long. No, no, no it's more than 15 years. It's been a long time. 
Does he live in Udama, or did he? Well, I mean, we grew up together. You know, despite being twins, we were quite different. I don't know if you guys remember, you but... Uh, yeah, I don't remember much about him. Well, that's a difficult question. So, so back a long time ago, you know, when, when Clara was just a, a little baby and... Uh, you know, our mother wasn't there a lot, and uh, and it kind of fell to it had the responsibility to you know help raise you two girls and the others. Kind of had to fall to one of us, and uh, well, it wasn't it wasn't my brother. It was me, and he kind of just went off and did his own thing. He didn't feel that he had any sort of responsibility for that, and uh, you know, and as a result, I I kind of felt that I grew closer to you guys and uh, that he kind of drifted off and maybe fell in with the wrong crowd. Well, you know, as, as we grew older, around 16, 17, you know, we were not doing so well off financially. And uh, I decided that, you know, I had to get a big boy job and I had to help you guys out because, you know, mom wasn't doing it. Mom... Well, she was doing her best. You know how she was. She, with this guy now, and then with this that guy later. You know, always trying to. She always had your best interest in mind with the men she chose. You know, she's trying to. Yeah, you 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 make that face, but you know she's. What would we do without money? What where would you guys be? Somebody needs to provide. I mean, it's. Yeah, but she didn't have to con every all the guys. Like her method and what she did was wrong, but her heart was in the right place. And so I, I decided to lie about my age, and I went off to the watch early. And you know, my brother Lar 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 Lar, he uh, he did the same, but for different reasons. And I never saw him again. Do you want to find out? Well, at very least to figure out what this business with Mike is. And maybe he has nothing to do with it. Maybe this guy just has it out for me. I mean, he had it out for Mike. I knew him in the watch. He had it out for me in the watch. And he, he, he came once. When I was in the GTA, he rose the ranks and he got me fired. He gave me all three of my strikes. You're on what? Strike number two, Olivia? Yeah. Well, well uh, my strikes were kind of out out of my hands, and uh, and so I was fired. Sounds like a revenge story waiting to happen. You did say something about an arch nemesis. Mike, Mike is. If I have a arch nemesis, Mike is my arch nemesis. People don't usually rise in the ranks like that. I assume without some sort of other influence yeah you know that's a good point that i'm not mentioned. i'm not sure what that other influence might be could be worth some digging if you really want to get back at this neck for mike oh mike person perhaps you weren't uh, even a target if you were just something to climb over just in the way mm -hmm. Or I maybe mean, you are, and you should kill him. Well, I think that's a little extreme. You know, I'm we not even... We have already almost gotten in trouble for murder once. Let's let it sit for a little while. Not implicate her again. To be honest, this... You know, that's my past. We're in the now. It seems like we have bigger fish to fry right now. Right. Anyways, now you know my life story. Thank you for sharing, Herd. It's important to share. Um, you, you don't know anything more about what happened with uh, Herney, do you? 
Hernie, right? Um, our younger brother. Oh. Well, there's more of you. Right, of course. There's quite a few. It really shouldn't be that surprising. Yeah, he's uh, Herd's younger brother, but our older oh, brother. Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah. That's the order, right. Um, yeah. So, no, I don't. And actually, he... Yeah, I, I, I don't know anything about that other than, you know, he was taken when we were young. Um to go to some special school. Mm -hmm. And uh, we never saw him again. And, uh, you know, what was it, a few years later? They actually, it's probably longer than a few years. Uh, some official looking people knocked on her door and said that, uh, that he died beyond the wall. Yeah, it was after Clara left. I don't know if you got the news, Clara. I, yes. That uh, message did come to. Okay. Would you say his name was? What? What kind of? It's... Sorry. What did you say his name was? Her Herney. It's like Henry, but uh, spelled a little differently. Uh -huh. We call him Herney. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He was. He was a special kid. Yeah. He's. I don't remember Special? much about him, but gifted, how? gifted. Um, you know, I, I suspect that there's a reason that you know these people came and take took him and to bring him to some special wizard schooling. You know, he took his his wizardly test. You know, the standardized test that you take at whatever age, and uh, and that must have been some sort of indicator to some, you know, governing body of magic that uh, that he was special. I don't know. Well, he didn't have any magic. He didn't have any. No, we tried, me and Clara, we tried teaching him, but nothing seemed to stick. And then when he took the test, they showed up. And said they had a special school. Um, how how long ago was it? How old would he was he, and how old would he have been now? Oh shoot! Uh, it was so long. Like, it was uh, as we scrambled to seven, check. It was that. seven years ago when they told us he was gone when he died. Um. But uh, he was seven years younger than me, uh, older than me. So yeah, he was thirty. Yeah, would be your, thirty. Your mom used to call him uh, uh, her little angel. Oh, the the reason I ask is, uh, uh, I or, or we might know something about such a school. Magda. Hmm? Sure. Do tell. Please. Did you go to the same school? No, I didn't. No, no. Uh, I lived next door. Oh. What was it like? Did, did they treat him OK? Was it a good school? Were they teaching him magic? I never really got to see inside, to be honest. I mean, if you'd met him, you'd know he was one of the best people mm. we've ever met. I'm wondering, you know, what did what did he look like? Can you can you say? He was a half elf. Yup. <laughs> <laughs> we made. He looked uh, slightly less bugbearish than me. Uh, and, uh... Yeah, no, he didn't have any bugbear. Um, he was just half elf. Uh. He had, uh, let's go blue, blue hair. No, uh, his, uh, so, so as you think back, it's hard to remember what he looked like. Um, his features were very boyish when he left. He was only like 13 years old. And so, well, 
he was told that he was half elf. His ears never really developed into the half elven ears of like a true half elf. Um, and and he had very like he had very white hair and um, like white blonde type hair and a very cherub type face. But uh, that was quite some time ago. Um. Wow, I can't say for sure, but uh, I will think back if I ever saw someone who looked like that around that place. It burned down though quite a while ago. So what when how how long ago? Oh, uh over 10 years. Oh, a while ago. That I think could have been... I remember you saying something closer to 20. Yeah. I haven't given it a great deal of thought in a while. You guys have traveled and, you know, gotten on the tram and started heading, you know, as you're talking with each other. Um, uh, there's an internet out in my area, apparently. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here going, why won't we booting fix it? Check my spectrum. You have an internet outage reported in your area. Um, you make your way through on the tram, having this conversation as you guys settle back in contemplative thought about the, the this knowledge. Nobody's actually made any super attempt to find him since you were told he's dead. But, you know, uh, this weird knowledge you just cross paths with. Uh, you arrive at the, the uh, two-tailed uh, rat inn. Uh, the symbol is of a mouse with two tails. Uh, and... Um, and you you walk in, and Kanan, you've been here a couple times before, uh, you know, just briefly pick up information and stuff. And you see Tubby uh, waiting for you inside. And out front, parked in front of the inn, is a uh, a carriage uh, with a mechanical horse. Um, and uh, and Tubby goes, well, that that's your ride right there. All right. Thank um, you, Tubby. Look, and uh, he goes back to eating some uh, fattening porridge or something like that. That looks like um, some dessert of sorts. Uh, uh, do you guys get in? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You want us to go to a second location? Th that's we're just gonna get in a random carriage. It's how these things are done. Yeah, that's usually how this works. If you say so, just follow their lead. Be on now you guard. climb inside your your Uber. Uh, no, you <laughs> climb inside your uh, your carriage, um, and there's a man inside. Uh, he's quiet looking. Man, he doesn't greet you. He gives you a, a short nod, um, sort of does a head count, and then uh, he starts speaking. Uh, you know, Olivia, Clara, yes, uh, Magda, Caden, and Hurdlerer. Everyone's and a great here. attempt. You can. Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, and he shuts the the door behind you, uh, and he draws down the curtains on the outside of the carriage, so you can't see out. Uh, it is well covered and black now inside the the carriage. Kafka's and he climbs up on top. Above. Yep. Uh, okay. Uh, hmm. Would he know that you have an owl? Uh, I don't think Kafka was not on the train. No, no, Kafka was not on the train, but, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. So Kafka familiars are, are a thing. So the question is, is whether or not he would, you know, know to look for a familiar. It's, this is a magic world. People have, lots of people have familiars. Um, so he set out, uh, and you begin to go along the roads and the paths and Kafka is following above, uh, and, um, Let's uh, let's roll a perception check for him. For Kafka or for no for uh, for, oh, for him to spot Kafka. I don't know. Are there any uh, oh, windows geez. or anything in this? Thing? They're they're covered. They're blacked out now. He he pulled canvas down over so you can't see what what path you're taking. Uh. Roll me a stealth roll for Kafka. He does have. Uh... Oh, the carriage stops no. and he gets down 
Uh, and he opens the, he rolls up the side of the one of the windows, opens the door. He has a crossbow in his hand. He goes, is, uh, is the owl one of your familiars? Uh, Clara snaps her fingers and cough is on her shoulder. Sorry about yeah. that. We completely forgot he was following. I just oh. told him to follow us. He, that's what he, that's his base command. Sure. He says, he doesn't seem, he doesn't seem to care. You know, he just puts the crossbow, you know, closes <laughs> like the windows. Holding Kafka. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and the carriage takes off again. Um, What's your name, friend? Oh, he he's already climbing back up on the top of the carriage. Uh, Magda asked him that earlier, and he basically says yeah, no I, name. Yeah, I know. Um, as he climbs back up on the carriage, he you know he begins to go through the city. You're taking windy turns um, without access to the starlight or the roads. You can't quite tell how long you're in here. Um, and you can't, uh, uh, maybe Caden and maybe Olivia might be able to count, like figure out where they're at. I was going to say, Olivia's going to not pay attention to anything going on in conversation wise and just try to pay attention to where they're going. All right. Give me, uh, and just an intelligence role, I think would be, or investigation, I think. Okay. 14. Ooh. Okay. 14. Uh, uh, so you are able to follow for quite some time left, right, 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 left, you know, 30 seconds left, right. But, uh, after about 20 minutes of this, you, you know, begin to lose track of how far you've gone. You're pretty certain about where you're at. And about five minutes after you lost track, uh, you pull up to a, and the carriage stops. You you have a rough idea of the district you're in, but you don't know the specific location. Okay, um, that's good. You get, you know, the, the, the windows are rolled up and, and the door is opened. Uh, and uh, as you look out of the carriage, you see you are in front of a long townhouse. It, it goes, it's narrow and deep. Um, there is a man standing in front of the door, uh, a butler, uh, but he is obviously more than a butler. You can see that he has underneath his arms uh, four daggers, two on either side, upside down and right side up. Uh, and um, he would normally be wearing like an over jacket, but he's not wearing those at the time. And he has the door open. And the man who brought you here, he opens the door and he gestures for you two guys to get out. We're here. I'll step out first. I'll kind of lead the way to the door. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah. You're led inside, and as you two, Caden and Magda, look around, your your dark vision, your devil sight, gives you some ability to see a lot farther. Um, and the place is not well lit, but you're led up up the stairs. The bottom part of this thing looks like a regular normal townhouse. There's a hallway that goes down it, and then there's doors off to the side, and they're all closed. And there seems to be a big room down at the end. You can smell some food. You know, some obviously somebody's been cooking in here or something. And you're led up the stairs and into a room. And as you step into the room, you look down the entire thing, and it is the the whole top portion of the townhouse has been turned into one single giant room. It's about uh, 125 feet long uh, and about 30 or 40 feet wide. And it is a very, you're able to see most of it. Uh, and it is lit up, and you, there's lights and torches, and you see that there's chairs, and there's a desk sitting in the farther back of the room. It's a curved 15-foot desk or 20-foot wide desk, um, just one of those, like, uh, imperial-sized desks, and there's papers and stuff all over it. And the butler leads you through the room down towards the desk, and in front of the desk are five chairs. And he seats you at the five chairs, or he indicates that you are to sit there. And then he... Uh, indicates that there, there's two tables next to these chairs, and on them is some water and some wine and some empty glasses, and he indicates that those are for you. Um, and he says, the rook will be with you shortly. And he walks out and shuts the door behind him. Let me show you the room you're in. Olivia's going to be pacing around the room. Uh, so he leads you down here to the table. Uh, the room is lit up except for the very back of it, which is in shadow past a large war table that looks like at a glance just has a ton of papers and things on it. Um, you seem to be alone in the room. What would you like to do? I will take a seat. Yep. Caden's okay. going to do the same. If we uh, have... Give me a perception check, both of you. 
-hmm. If we have about 10 minutes, I'd ritual cast detect magic. Okay, so you sit there and you walk back into the room and you start writing the stuff necessary on the floor. Um, uh, Caden. Um, yeah, so uh, you start writing stuff on the floor and what is Hurdler and Olivia and Cl doing? I'm going to I'm going to have a drink. Um, does he have like a spit cup for the wine? <laughs> no, a no, regular cup. Okay, I'll swish it around, do a little type thing, and you know, to aerate the wine, yeah. you know, really get, don't, uh, you know. Don't spit that out in here. I'll swallow it hard. <sighs> Why? Because it's impolite to spit it out. Oh, do we gotta be, do we gotta act a way around here? Well, she's got a point. It's, it's kind of the, the mob. The mob, you know. We should be respectful. Always. I'm especially being. when we, we're we guests. I just won't say anything. Okay. That's probably a good idea. Olivia's just going to pace around the room, just doing like a patrol. Okay. Don't uh, touch do anything, you go Olivia. And look at the desk or hmm. just uh, just walking back and forth. Um, just going to, well, probably just do a perimeter of the outside of the room, looking out of these windows. Yes, they are windows. Yeah. And as you look out, they just uh, appear. Uh, they're very close to the buildings next to you. So you don't get it. You can't quite figure out where you're at. Uh, mm -hmm. But um, uh, yeah, you just peer through the windows. They all have bars over them. Um, yes, Sertler. I would like to cast Guidance on Caden. Actually, no, Magda. Magda. <laughs> okay, just guidance on Magda. How long does um, guidance um, last? One minute. I'll do one it every minute. minute. <laughs> seeing seeing <laughs> her do that, uh, like starting to cast a spell, and knowing Clara is is doing stuff kind of behind me. Oops, I should move into a seat here. Um, Clara, uh, Kim's going to say it loud. Clara, seeing as we're in somebody else's home and um, casting spells is not always the most, how do we say, non-threatening of things, I'd assume you'd want to let everyone know what spell you're casting so that everyone knows it's not hostile. I am casting detect magic. <laughs> Just checking. Inquisitive. I cannot. You're clean up your chalk when you're done. Yes. Uh, Magda and um, uh, do you, or Caden, do you indicate what you know any? Um, at this point, after having said that, um, I'm gonna, I will have definitely have uh, squeezed Magda's hand, uh, arm mm -hmm. and just indicated we're not alone. And I, I kind of just to gesture with my head over towards one of the shadowed corners. As you look around Magda, you see standing back, leaning against the wall, a man um, just standing, not moving with his face covered in a mask. He has short swords next to a single short sword on his side or something, a rapier, a weapon of some sort. And he's just standing there watching you, uh, watching all of you. You didn't pick him up at first because he wasn't moving at all. But now that Caden has pointed him out, you can see him as clear as day. Uh, Hurdler, Clara and Olivia, you don't see him anything. Um, did I, did you, I, roll anything for my perception around the room or investigation around uh what are you trying to like if you're just doing a walk around you get a comfortable uh you like you know how big the room is but uh what are you trying to perceive well looking for threats really because that's um i'm gonna say you don't see anything that you know you're in a room with bars on the windows and only one exit which in and of itself is not necessarily pleasant but outside of that there's not a real threat in the room no um, and trapped. as you no None that you can see. There's none to be found here. It's not likely that he would trap the place if he spent so much time. Um, right. Well, I'm just. I'm not going to have you roll for something that yeah, I'm not telling okay. you as you yep. take your time. You guys are in here for a good five or ten minutes, and he doesn't move. You guys are. He's just watching you. Your detect magic goes up, and there is some magic that you detect within thirty feet of you. There's some something inside of. Um, inside of this uh, uh, the desk. Um, there's some magical trinkets or something on the top of it. Um, and uh, um, 
you know, uh, you have it up. It lasts for how long? Uh, it lasts for. It's not in my favorites. Detect magic lasts for ten minutes. Okay. So after you finish it, what do you do with the the? Do you walk around or you just stay where you're at? Uh, because Caden has said that maybe casting spells is not so polite. Like I'm not gonna go poking around. Okay. But like I will like take a seat next to him and be like lean over and whisper like there's there's stuff in on the desk. Don't know if it's threatening. Just so you're aware, magical shenanigans happening. We are Another... in the presence of a very powerful. This is a very powerful person who owns this home, so this is not that surprising. Another ten minutes pass, and once your spell fades, uh, a man walks out of the shadows, and and uh, Aiden and Magda, you guys see him walking towards you. Uh, and then once he steps into the light here, uh, it's as if he just suddenly appeared to Hurdler, Claire, and Olivia, as if invisibility had fallen off. Um, and I actually need uh, both Caden and Magda to make um, deception check for just not revealing that, unless you weren't trying to, or you know, not revealing that you saw him, unless you were attempting, unless you didn't care. Um, I'm not sure Magda would have realized that she was seeing him when the others weren't. Okay. So I don't think she'd try to hide it. Okay. Yeah, I think the same. I think it would have been, I wouldn't have stared, but I would have noticed, right. looked, and then kept okay. trying to be like hands folded in lap, just kind of Magda waiting. Was watching him the whole way up to his, his desk. Fair enough. Uh, he walks up and he sits down and he looks at you guys. He says, I am the Rook. It's an honor to meet you. And it is an honor to meet you as well. Uh, uh, you have a very interesting party here that you have made friends. Olivia, please sit. Your pacing is off-putting. Herp. Olivia. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, this is tense. Thank you. Is um first off, let's let's get the immediate business out of the way. You have something that belongs to me. We do? Yes. Oh. I would like it returned, please. Yeah, I think sure. that is fair. I'm going to unhook the key that I have around my neck. And uh, Caden is going to put his hands up and he's going to, I'm just going to stand up so I can access this. And he keeps his hands uh, up. And... The Rook doesn't seem intimidated by you. Like he's not sitting there on edge. He's seems very comfortable with himself. Yep. Stand up and I, I lift up my arm and uh, I pull out kind of like I unwrap a couple of the, the cape that I have over me and uh, from underneath I kind of pull Kind of like this leather thong that's wrapped across my chest uh, and around like just different straps and stuff like that holding to me. And you see, I pull out this kind of like leather, almost look like a leather book. And uh, I'll kind of, small, very small though. Uh, and I'll kind of, I'll actually hold one end of it to Magda. Um, and I'll unlock it and uh, reach I start, inside and pull out. Keep my hand out, yeah. Marble. I believe this is probably what you're after. And I will step forward and put it on the desk in front of him. He will pick it up and he will look at it. And as he uh, looks at it, um, and as you set it down, it changes size to uh, grow to a globe the size of a small, um, well, a little bit bigger than a softball. And he looks at it and he goes, yes. He sets it aside. You have done me a great service, actually. We didn't know what that did. And we have spent, I've spent a disproportionate amount of money seeking people to figure out what it did. And you guys figured it out in what? A week? A month? How long did it take you? We touched it. I don't, that was about it. That, that's it. 
Very interesting. Does it have a number of charges or uses? I have no idea. So I'm not that good with magical items. Hmm. Well, that's probably the first one that ever worked with you, huh? Hmm. Yeah. Well, now that that's out of the way, I do appreciate you bringing that back to me. Um... And now I know what it does, and we can begin to dig a little bit further into some uses for it. There's some other people in the world who I think would love to get their hands on this. Uh, I can imagine. I am, so I do appreciate it. We, we imagined that you might not have known what it did. The security might have been a, probably stronger. It is powerful. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, uh, it certainly will be now. Uh, he takes it and he puts it inside of a drawer and shuts the drawer and you hear a small lock click. Yeah, so it'll definitely be watched a little bit closer. There are people who would love to see this never reach the light of day and some other people who would love to get their hands on it. But tell me, are you guys just now wizards or is it something else? I'm a wizard. Oh, no, I was referring to your friends. Prior to touching this item, they never had access to magic. And so... Uh... Couldn't tell you. I... Very interesting. I don't know enough about magic. Fair enough, fair enough. Honest. There's been well... some minor things. It's, it doesn't seem to be much. It's, it's paltry. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I'd love to learn more as you grow in your magic. If you would let me know what you're learning, I could maybe assist you in learning how to use what you know. But uh, I'm fascinated to know what the object did exactly. And so the more information I have, the better. Um, but that is, of course, up to you. Uh, There's very little to tell. Um, one moment... Did not have magic, and the next, uh, some magic was reacting. You could see me. That's unusual. Most people cannot. Hmm. That's so it's... I, I didn't even realize that. Ooh, your companions had no clue I was there. You know, in the space of my years having a power such as this, I have met maybe one other person who's been able to do what you can do. He had to uh, see me in the dark like that. Um, outside of casting some sort of invisibility scene spell or something. Uh, but uh, what is a strange individual. What is about you in the dark? Just an ability I have. Uh... But you brought it back. You, you, you know, you uh, you told showed me what it did. Uh, for that, I am grateful. I will consider us even. Uh, Thank you very much. Um, stolen we'll from happy. the room. You returned it. To mm -hmm. our deepest apologies, we did not know it belonged to you. That is fair. Um, that that we being said, this to you, we'll we'll don't want to take up too much of your time. We can. Depart. Oh, um, no, no, not at all. You guys are ingenuitous. Ingenuity? Have great ingenuity? Seem to be very versatile in solving your problems. I, I, I want to make sure you understand that you don't leave here an enemy of mine unless you wish to. Uh, and if you wish, you could even leave as uh, uh, allies or employees. It's really up to you. I, I, you have uh, solved some very interesting problems, and I would uh, greatly love to uh, pay you to solve some of my other problems. So uh, uh, I want you. We're even. You owe me nothing. There is no debt here. This is more now um, a transaction. Um, I did not get to where I was by letting resources such as you just at least not talk to you any. You're very generous. Uh, I pipe up. What would employment uh, look like? I would offer you jobs. If you wanted to do the jobs, you take them. If you don't want to do the jobs, you don't take them. Uh, 
some jobs I would not give you all the information. Um, because, uh, because having information that you're not going to use to do the job might not be beneficial. But, you know, now, for example, I have a, a job that um, would be very useful for me if you would take care of this and tell the right people that I sent you to do so. Um, the there is a killer in the woods outside of the uh, outside of Ujama who's been murdering some people. There's a bounty up for him, uh, but the watch has been taking care of it, and they have failed miserably at catching him. And I have a solution, uh, maybe the ability to catch him, and I'd like you guys to go catch him. Um, there's a reward out, two thousand gold. That's yours. Um, but I just, when you collect the gold, I need you to tell them that I was the one who ensured that the killer got caught. That I hired you to go and take care of him. What's this person's name? I don't know. It's, uh, it's, he, uh, he targets hunters. Uh, leaves a message on them stating that all, all killing of animals is considered to be the same as killing of humans. And as such, they deserve to die. Um. So I uh, could give you a hunting permit. Very hard to get. Very, you know, cost me a pretty penny. I'll give you a hunting permit if you guys go into the woods to hunt. He will likely come and target you, and you guys can handle him. That's one method. I think. How quickly do we have to decide? Uh, this particular task doesn't really have a huge time limit. I prefer to know within a couple days. Mm. Um, uh, otherwise, I could hand it off to somebody else. Uh, if you guys have no interest in doing a working relationship or not this particular one, it would give me an opportunity to see you know, your skills in action, as it were. I could send a man with you to report on how well you do so I could have an understanding of your abilities. Um, and then well, I have some other tasks. Well, I think that, uh, as a group, we should probably discuss this in private, but, um... Okay, just to clarify, uh, when he says other tasks, he means that those will be tasks offered to us after we complete this one, or does he have just, like, other options? No, no, he wants to see how well you guys take care of this, and then he has some other jobs for you. Uh, they're um, a little bit more... gray? You hmm. know? Some people have things that I would like to have without them knowing that I'm the one who have them. I understand the kind of work that you do. So, of course, uh, you are welcome to talk in among yourselves. Um, he turns, glances over at Kading. You know how to reach uh, Sherman? Yes, sir. Uh, just let him know if you accept the job and I'll make sure that the right things fall into your hands. You still... Uh, are living at the same uh, property where Tabby picked you up? Yes? Yes, that will work. Fantastic. Uh, uh, if you accept the job, I'll have somebody drop off the passes to hunt. And you don't have to take that particular track. You can take any track that you wish, but uh, they might prove to be useful. Many uh, thanks. Thank you very much for returning this. Uh, and I, I also thank you for listening to my offer. It is good to know that we are leaving here at least acquaintances. Yeah. Certainly. It's always good to have allies, but I don't think we're at that point yet. But acquaintances glad is good. To, glad to have been of service to you, even accidentally, as it were. Not a problem. Uh, my man will show you out if you, are, if you have nothing else that you have for me. No. Excellent. Uh, and he stands up and he starts walking back towards where he was. Uh, and to Olivia, Claire, and Hurd, as soon as he hits the area right past that's brightly lit, he just disappears. To Caden and Magda, you watch him walk back and, le and just lean against the wall. All right, it looks cooler. Up. Batman looks cooler when you don't know he's how he's disappearing. But Caden and Magda can see Batman. I'm in the shadows. I'm Batman. <laughs> the darkest. <laughs> 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 I was. Yeah. Dark. And Magnus is very <laughs> <Christ> <laughs> Yeah. He puts his little mask over his face again. Yeah. <laughs> and as you're actually looking at them, it seems to bother him a little bit. And so he he casts a spell. You hear him mutter some words, and he disappears. Did he leave the uh, orb on the desk? No, it's in a drawer in the desk. Oh, right. That's right. He locked it. That's right. OK. 
Okay. Uh, and then you hear a voice come from the darkness. Oh, just to be clear, if you steal from me again, I won't treat it with such leniency. That was, that is, uh, we expected as much. Thank you. Do right. you guys sleep? Are we yeah. leaving? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so you guys get up, and and the butler is outside. Um, he uh, he opens the door as you reach it, and it leads you downstairs to the carriage, which is still covered. Uh, you know, and um, you have a return ride back to the two tails uh, in. You well, guys stole uh, from the rook. It is a long story, and. It is true that we did not know we were stealing from the Rook until Anthony told us. That much is very true. Okay. I think we gotta take the job. I mean, 2,000, 2000 just for this one job. Heard we're not even... We're not gonna work for the mob! Let's um, I think talk. that's debatable. I think we should debate about it. A healthy debate. Okay, pros. Working for the mob. 2,000 gold, mother back. Uh, okay, Con. okay, 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 pause for a sec. Let's talk about this when we're out of the carriage. It's safe to say, if you guys don't want to talk about it, you get out of the carriage and okay, you, you're dropped off, you <laughs> hop back on the tram, and you're heading back to your safe house. Okay, then continue. <laughs> Cons, I'm, I'm hoping that you can fill in this part because I don't really see them at the moment. We would well, be uh, working for the mob. Claire, I'm a watchman. Consider this. You need money to get your mom out of jail. And you need money to buy this azurite powder that you don't know what it is. And it, frankly, sounds expensive. Um, current best options of, aiming, of earning money are to, one, take the rook's job. Or go with Ag on her treasure hunt which may or may not actually turn into something. But even if it does, Clara, who do you think you're going to sell those weapons to? I think Clint it's different not. selling something to the Rook than doing a job and possibly killing a guy for him. What do you think those weapons are going to be used for, Clara? Touche. Make a good point. <laughs> Uh, the job that he was offering uh, was about an active bounty that the watch has out. He was just wanting you guys to let the people know that he was the one who hired you to go and take care of it. And that he'd provide us with the hunting license kind of thing. Right. Yeah. And paperwork for it. Basically. If Are we you... wanted to use that as the ruse. If you wanted to, yeah. Are you guys really okay with j working with him? Well, I mean, this I specifically. I've been him for years, so. This specific job, there's I don't really see a whole lot of moral ambiguity with it. I mean, this this hunter is uh, he feels that animals are people, just not true. It's goblins up. That's that's how it works. Uh, I mean, maybe even above goblins, really. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so no less line. I, we've been through this. Um. <laughs> Herds part goblinoid um, kin. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, I, I think I'd rather work for this guy on a job that was already a watch job than go on a treasure hunt. The treasure hunt has a. <laughs> <laughs> How much did you drink before we left, Phantom? <laughs> the adrenaline. The nerves. Oh, I was expecting it to go way worse. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, it was too. The treasure hunt is no guarantee. Uh, I mean, sure, it could be profitable, but that's only if it really exists and we can really get to it. And I like Ag, but she's a little um, unstable. Liar. Yeah, I would probably agree. It just seems like we're. Um, I don't know. I'll I'll do whatever you guys say. By the way, uh, you should probably unlock that 
necklace of hers tonight or tomorrow. What was it, tomorrow that we promised? Yeah, you should. I was, I wanted to talk to you guys about it before I did it because I didn't want her burning the house down when we were away. Appreciate that. I mean, no one important lives there. Just kidding, huh? <laughs> I, don't like him, I, I, I don't like him, Sarah. He's, he's a bad guy. I think that we should have a discussion about this, but maybe burning down his house is a little extreme. Yeah, please. I, I agree. I'm, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, yeah, I, if anything, we can leave him in the time machine and we can take the house. Like, We're not uh, leaving him in the time vortex. I don't see the issue. He won't be around to be mad about it. He's, I mean, he's, he's in the past. Time, if we let him out in 10 years or one, isn't it the same thing to him? I mean, it's still got some time while he. Oh, sweet Clara, you're afraid that you'll be older and he'll no longer love you. <laughs> That's not the issue, her. Right, it's more not, how angry he's going to be at me for wasting time. That's not a good thing, Clara. But, anyways, I don't think this is a conversation to have right now. Uh, yeah, the mob. Um, We've got a lot going on. <laughs> yeah, we do. I don't yeah. understand how we've... Ah, we've got... It's, it's too exposed. It just feels... Feels... Um, I don't know. Like There's too many people who are... We've got the those two... Those two investigators... I don't like the vibe from that. We've got this tiefling back at the place who's heard us talk. The rook calling us to his place. We've got some wizard and spiders coming out of a, another place. I don't know what's going on, but this is very unsettling. Would it be helpful to get out of the city for a while? That's what the job's offering. I say we take the job. Yeah. I agree. So that's three of us. I agree. Four. Clara. If you guys think it's a good idea. Technically, we are only fulfilling uh, a watch bounty, so. I mean, this might go better than the last one that was actually sanctioned, kind of. As I, long as we don't kill anyone this time. That you're not allowed to kill. Y yeah. Then I guess we're becoming hunters. <clears throat> you <laughs> get back home having <laughs> made that decision, uh, ready to go and become bounty hunters. Um, Clara, after everyone goes to bed, as you head back down and just check on the clock one last time, uh, it has stopped moving. Um, the time has is gone back uh, quite a ways, um, several thousand years, uh, and it is no longer it is no longer you know moving anywhere. Um, and you just observe the clock for a little while, and you head to bed. Uh, the next morning, um, you get up and you get ready to go and send a message to the Rook, letting him know that you are taking the job. Um, as you do so, Olivia, you go into work as normal um, to this, the DMV. I, I do unlock right. okay. the collar. Uh, How did you get the key so fast? I thought you had to go in and get it from the office. <laughs> oh, you, yeah. I, no, I... I oh, the it, collar. Collar. Yeah, it was on the bottom of my bag, actually. Ah, that's good. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, and as you are heading to work, Olivia, uh, you hear the the news uh, being declared off the tram station. The crack in the wall widens. The sage is unsure of the cause. And oh, with that. Uh, you you send word to the rook, 
and we will pick back up there at the next session. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, I, something about smash that follow button or something. I don't know. Claire, you usually yeah. do this. Uh, yeah. So thank you guys. That was fun. Uh, well, most of it was fun. The watching you guys on Twitch while I was frantically trying to get my internet back up, <laughs> not the most fun that I've had in this game. But uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that was fun. Um, thank you all for watching. Uh, sorry for the technical difficulties that we've been having. Um, if you want to see how the story got to this point, head over to the YouTube channel, The Dice Cult. Uh, it's in the playlist, Roll Incorporated. Um, we are not big enough that we have gone viral or anything like that. So if you have enjoyed this, tell your friends, tell your family, pull them alongside, talk about it, share, uh, follow us on Twitter. Um, pretty soon, I will be posting on the Roll Incorporated Twitter a poll asking about what kind of dice people want if I were to do a dice giveaway. So pay attention to that and reply. Uh, Olivia, you don't qualify. You're part of the cast. Uh, <laughs> My dice, uh, my dice bag is only half a pound. It needs to be a full pound of dice. <laughs> I need more dice. Uh, so uh, keep an eye on that. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, take care of yourself. Uh, tell somebody you love them. Uh, wear a mask. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see you next week um, for more Roll Incorporated. <laughs>